Hello, everyone, and welcome back. If you missed it, we have done... This is our third video today? This is the third video. Uh, so in the first one, we covered the fundamental basics of the game. We're just fighting with a couple characters. And the second game, we added the crisis cards and the uh, tactic cards. Mm -hmm. And then in this game, we're actually using all the models that we haven't previously used. Plus, we're adding one of the very first expansion models that are coming out for the game, which is Hulk. The Hulk Man. And we don't have the actual card, so I've got a printout of the abilities that we printed out from watching the Atomic Mass. They've stream. been doing the, the streams over Atomic Mass, yeah. and they showed Hulk, and so we just kind of we had the model, not the card. We ripped the stats, and here we are. Uh, so tell me what's going on. You, you me, set this up. Yeah, you picked the a, scenarios and a stuff. A couple of things. So the first thing that's relevant is we've set up the uh, two cards here, the Crisis cards. So the Daily Bugle tells us the Infinity Formula has gone missing, and the scrolls are infiltrating world leadership. So with the Infinity Formula, we've placed four serum containers on the board here. Now, of note, during the power phase, anything that's contesting one of those uh, serums mm -hmm. is officially gaining one extra power during the power phase. Mm. So if you're hanging out around power the serum, up. you're getting more power. Um, if you control it, you score one victory point uh, during the cleanup phase. So like standard, control for a point, and anybody around it, regardless of control, will get one power. That's pretty good. And then the scrolls is pretty cool. So these are um, the three civilian tokens we've got here. One of them is actually the scroll uh, leader. And so what we got to do is we got to interact with these decoys. So that costs one power to do that. Uh, we roll two dice. If either die is a critical, that character picks up the scroll agent and removes all decoy tokens from the battlefield. So if you hit the crit, you discover the agent and you hold on to him. Mm. Anytime the agent gets dropped, you know you can interact to pick up the scroll agent. And then the speed of the character holding the scroll agent becomes small. So Got no it. matter what, you can only move the smallest distance because you're wrangling so you this thing. Bend a power to interact. And yep. you take it? If it's the agent, you take it. A lot of times you'll interact, roll, no crits, stays there. Mm. Nothing happens. Uh, and then players score two victory points by controlling uh, uh, if the character they control is holding the scroll agent during the cleanup phase. So if you're holding the agent, you get two at the end of the uh, at the end of the game or the round. So those are uh, missions, and then I've got some interesting setups going on here. Yep. Um, I'm adding adding Hulk to this team. This is now a mixed team, which you can do. You can have any number of heroes. There's no factions uh, on the team. Now Red Skull does run the Cabal affiliation. And that means that if half of your team is Cabal, then you get this special Master of Evil ability, which is incredible. Each time an allied character damages an enemy character with an attack, they gain one power after that attack result. Wow. So you're just continually getting more and more power. Now, technically, I look at my little um, Cabal thing here. Red Skull, Baron Zemo, Ultron, Crossbones, Killmonger, Loki, and MODOK are in the Cabal. So none in the Cabal is Doc Ock, none in the Cabal is Hulk. So I don't get access to that ability this game. Now, technically we could play where I do get access to it. Just I think to you see should. It, but, you know, let's whatever. Just, you let's just do. act like you have the affiliation. But we just assume that Hulk joined? Yeah, Hulk has joined the Cabal. <laughs> uh, and, it, you know, it is it's cool showing the first mixed team like this because you can mix it up. One of the cooler elements of the game is that when you come, you know, to a tournament or to a game just to hang out, uh, the intent is that you have ten models. And then the scenario is defined, which we've just defined. And then at that point, you actually build your squad from your 10 models. You start drafting. So you could have a weird mix of characters where you have some Avengers and some Cabal and who knows what other affiliations down the road. Let me run down Hulk for you. Yep. Speaking of down the road, um, so Hulk has 20 stamina, which is tremendous. Most have five or six that from is what we've three seen. three to six times most characters. Speed is small, so he can hold on to that scroll agent without losing any speed. Size is four, which is the biggest we've seen, which makes sense. And the cost is six. And remember, we've got 17 to work with here on our um, Daily Bugle cards, so that's a pretty considerable amount of points. Two physical, two mental, and three... I'm sorry, two physical, two energy, and three mental defense. So, so it's kind of interesting. He's good against mental attacks, yeah. I guess, because there's not a lot to work with. Well, he's also Bruce <laughs> Banner, right? Yeah. So he's very smart as a character. Uh, strike... Standard strike, it's a range two, six dice on his zero power strike. Uh, and then if you get a wild, you can push, and before damage is dealt, you can push a large, uh, push them away a small movement. So standard push, interesting thing on his strike, it doesn't gain you power. Yep. Right? And we know why here in just a second. Also has thunderclap, which is a range three beam, and it has five dice and uh, three energy attack. So, so that's... The beam is actually using the width of the template, which earlier people were talking about the width. Not only is this range one, but like when he's doing the beam, anything, anything under it, because he's doing Including his... allies, yeah. which I learned earlier. 
Um, Hulk Smash is a range two attack. The dice on it is eight dice. It's incredible. Two energy. On a wild, you can stagger. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains the stagger special condition. You can also throw. So before damage is dealt, you can throw the target small distance away. Then we look at the superpowers. So we have the Gamma Leap for three. We can place this character within two range of its current location. It can be used only once per turn. So basically you get kind of a free move in the Gamma Leap for power. Also have strongest one there is for two energy. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character, both of size four or less, which is gonna be pretty much anything on this board. And within range two, throw at a medium distance. So you can just start throwing stuff. This is like a four, right? This is a three. So we can throw these buildings yep. and stuff. Inner Rage, during the power phase, he gains an additional two power. Which is why he doesn't gain any power from his strike. And if he's around the serum, I mean, he's going to be gaining it. Well, and he has all that health, right? So he, unlike a lot of characters, you hit him for six. He gains six. Yeah. And he's off to the races. It's good. And then you won't like me when I'm angry. Add one die to this character's attack for every three damage it has. Additionally, if it would flip its stock card to injured, it is KO'd instead. So when he's at 19 damage, or even 18, he's plus six attack dice. And then he's almost dead. But, like, that's a lot. That is crazy. It's a Hulk, Hulk smash indeed. Um, okay, so that's all of that. And then I've got Red Skull and Dr. Octopus, and we can kind of explore those abilities as they come out. You've got two new ones, Iron Man and Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Um, so you want to just dive into it? Yeah, let's just do it. Right. So, if you, again, if you missed the first couple of videos, we kind of take a stair-step approach into learning the game. Uh, but we're just going to kind of dive in and show it off. Hopefully uh, you know what's going on. Ready? I'm ready. All right, so we set Let's up. Place. Let's uh, play some stuff yeah, wherever you want. Do I don't. I don't much care. Well, this seems. I don't know why I like flying characters on buildings. Look at this. What is this? What are you talking about? At least get on the edge of the board or something. What are you? Oh, you're over there. You may go <laughs> over here. Last time we did this thing. We can do this. We can do it like I this. I can also just line up over here. You know what I mean? You want to start in the very corner like this? Let's just do that. That way, there's no. On fairsies. Let me see how fast these cats are. I got my gamma leaves. So All I'm mediums. Ready. A bunch of mediums. All right. All I right. feel like Iron Man. You know, it'd be awesome. I hope we get Hulkbuster Iron Man. Yeah. That'd be tight. So we're gonna ignore that serum ability for the first uh, power phase, by the way, because that would just be busted if we just start. Out yeah, that's, that's totally fair. We are playing on a smaller board than usual for the camera, and so we just get right into the action. So uh, in a real game, you'd have a little bit more of a tactical, strategic aspect moving around, and you would also normally have five models rather than three. So this is still a, a well, it's, shrunk it's, down. It's three version. to six. That's true. That's true. Because like you're at how many points are you? Four, uh, seven, six, thirteen. I'm at 13 and so 17, would, so I'd have one more You would only have one more model. model. Yeah, that's true. a typical thing. And I'm Hulk's at a big boy. 11, so... You're going to get wrecked then, aren't you? Yeah. Justice is on my side. All right, how about you start off, because I, I had priority all the time last game. And then I have given Zach and I five team <laughs> tactic cards that we have never played with. So last game, they're all pretty much all different. And they are way fun. Like, these are all... Mm. The more interesting ones that they don't start you out with. Which makes sense, not to yeah. start you too complicated. Yeah. Uh, and there's some really... So I think I think Red Skull and Hulk is going to be a really good team because he can do the thing where he basically hurts them to make them activate again. And Hulk is obviously going to be pretty mm -hmm. good at that, at that moment. I need to read <clears throat> these really quickly. You gave me some good ones. Yeah. Should, um, should we just cover these? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to try to bust these real quick. You want to pull these up? Follow me. Unaffiliated reactive. The active character may spend six energy to play this card at the end of its activation. Choose another allied character within three. The chosen character activates immediately. So okay. you can spend six to yep. activate another character within three. Boom. Heave, heave Ho, active. If I two, love that card. If two allied characters are within two of the same interactive terrain feature, size two or less, uh, they may spend an energy each, then choose one of the characters to throw the terrain feature. So they make it pick up a car and chunk it or a trash can. throw it to you, and then you throw it to the yeah. end uh, game. And it's all, all the things with the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff on it are the coolest yeah. team tactic cards there are. I also just love this rocket art on the yeah, back. Yeah, they look great. Um, the rocket and group models, I don't know if you saw those at Gen Con or not, but they have kind of like an edgier look than the movies. Ooh. I like it. They're kind of fierce. All right, next up, another rocket card, Drop Off. Uh, reactive, when an allied character with flight, which is both Iron Man and Captain Marvel here, uh, begins a move action within two of another allied character of equal or smaller size. They can spend one energy each to play this card before moving. When the active character ends this move, place the allied character within one of it. The placed character may immediately perform one of its attacks that has a listed energy cost of zero. So they can pick up Cap, 
Or each other. Each other, technically. Drop each other off, and they immediately get it taken. So, attack. like, you follow me, and then here, and then it's one, and then it's like, oh, that's really attack. good. That's really cool. Uh, then we get Escort to Safety. <laughs> Another reactive when an enemy character targets an allied character. Another allied character within three of the targeted character can spend three energy to play this. Push the targeted ally character towards the other allied character a small distance, so like they would co come towards me three. It's like if Cap does that, it's like whoop. Yep. If at the end of the push the targeted character is outside of the attack's range, uh, or the attacker's line of sight, the attack ends. Yeah. If it is the attacker's activation and the attack did not target multiple characters, they may make another action. So it's like, I'm attacking Iron Man, you play that card, pull me out, and now it's canceled. Yep, it's, so it's really cool. good. Then I have Ricochet Blast, which is a seven die attack where Iron Man bounces his beam off of Captain America <laughs> specifically, and it's a bunch of text, so I won't read it. But that's basically what happens. And it's I, I love this, uh, and they explained it at Gen Con as the tactic cards are the movie moments. Yeah. So it's very unique, very specific. Like, you can picture Iron Man dropping Cap in, Cap throws a shield and hits something right. Then the next thing you see is Iron Man shooting a beam off of Cap's shield, and it's just like, it's just rolling. Yeah, you could do, a, dude, if you did like a follow me into that ricochet that like you're talking yeah. about. Can you just do that this game? Can that be the point? Well, that is my goal. Talking about Cosmic Invigoration, this is Red Skull's, uh, it is a Cabal-only ability, just like the Avengers Assemble, I believe, is Avengers-only. Mm -hmm. uh, if Red Skull was within two range of another allied character with an activated token, so a character has gone, you're within two of that character, they may spend two power each to play this card. Four power total, that's a lot. Remove the activated token from the allied character and roll three dice for each wild crit and hit roll, that character suffers a damage. That's pretty good. So they get to unactivate, so they can go again, but they take some damage and it costs them four power together. But, but reactivating like, is so for powerful. Hulk, yeah. For He's Hulk. He's gonna be jamming. That's, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. We've got Sacrifice. If an allied character is within two of another allied character and is targeted by an enemy attack, those allied characters can spend one together, so one each. The non-targeted character immediately becomes the new target, regardless of range or line of sight, and it cannot modify or add defense dice. So basically, it's the old target swap. Nice. Sacrifice. Smash, which is uh, a Hulk-themed card. You can see he's on there. It. Tearing a car in, ha card in half. Car in half. Oh, you got the car. Yeah, but what about the back art? You don't have the sweet back art. It looks great in full color. Uh, if the active characters are then one of an interactive terrain feature, so let's just do that. Let's say Hulk's here. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, that's smaller than they are. They may spend two power to play this card. The terrain feature is destroyed, so it goes away. And removed from the battlefield, add a number of dice to the active character's attacks. This activation equal to the size of the terrain feature. Okay. So, like, all of my attacks are now at plus two because I just smashed a card and I'm beating you with it. That's amazing. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> and heaven forbid I destroy the building, which is plus three to Doesn't both Doesn't it be attacks. smaller than you, technically? I'm four. Holy macaroni! <laughs> Good thing you're not starting anywhere near that building. Dark Rain, any Cabal character may spend three power to play this card. Choose an enemy character. Allied Cabal characters may reroll any number of attack dice when attacking the chosen character this round. So it's like that one. And the whole round, they get rerolls on attacks. Pretty cool. Finally, mission objective is basically you can spend two power either when you're about to drop a token or when you want to drop a token and give it to somebody else. So it might be really handy with the uh, scroll civilians that are going to be in the game. I can pass it off to somebody else who's next to me. All right, I think we've done it. Are you ready to play? I am ready. You get the first action. All right. Let's see. All right, so all our characters gain one power. Power up. Everybody's going to gain one. <laughs> Wait, I just damaged all of my guys here. Huh. I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> all right, here's the power. Boom. I've got the Boom. power. Boom. All right. Let's go. Technically, we'd get some from the serum, but we're not playing that uh, this game. Next round. Next round. We'll all right. Cap we would never start this close in a real game. That's right. Cap's going to move. Yeah, let's just get into it. You gonna get that civilian? That's a very cap thing to do. Oh yeah. In range. So <laughs> slam. Uh, I'm gonna spend a power, and again, it's not an action to do this. It's not an action. So what do I do when I interact with this thing? You roll two dice. If you get a crit, you've discovered the scroll boy. Got you it. Did. Yeah, Captain Jimbo. All right. So boom, civilian is in play. Decoys are gone. Captain strikes gold. 
And do I, now it's attached to I pick to it up? Yeah. And now Let's my just leave them on use because I like to visualize. Yeah. Now my speed's minus one. Small. So I'm small. You're always small, no matter what your speed is. So now, if you control at the end of the round, you get two victory points. Well, let's do a good job of that. He's gonna hide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so now it's basically I'm just gonna come try to mess with that. Yeah. All right. And I I keep that guy, the agent, until you knock him out of me. Yes. Yeah. So you, now it's on. It's you two hold points on to at the it. end of every round yeah. until you get rid of that. Hundred percent. Yep. And you do that by defeating Cap. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. I just got to daze him at least, and then he'll drop him. Um, so think about this for a second, right? He finds the agent is now like protecting them, and my whole team is going to be centered on the idea of just protecting. Yep, that's the idea. I love it. Uh, or I could just sit on three serums and get three points. I mean, I'm not going to let you do that. Yeah, I see. That's the thing. We yeah, gotta, we've but got like, options. I I have three points around right here. Yes. So you've now got to come. I think I probably have to draw you out by like getting, getting around the other serums. Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. And then send Hulk to the, the Smashville. Do you realize I'm within three? <laughs> Ryan Roper, to... scroll pinata. Size to your last, and within three thing. Throw Nicholas, it while you're reading your stuff, Nicholas asked a question. He said, "Real talk, compared to other miniatures games you guys have played, would you put this game?" Uh, Tight and competitive, or leaning more towards a narrative and immersion. Um, definitely not competitive. It's all a mindset. I mean, I, I mean, you could make anything competitive, right? That's the thing. It's I like don't. People eat hot dogs competitively. I think because <laughs> because of the objectives, Gross. the positional okay. elements, the team building, the the <laughs> tactic card building, right? Yeah. I think that there is as much viable like competitive to this as there is for like X Wing. I think the biggest difference though is that the barrier to this game is you have to put models together. You're probably gonna paint. You have to bring your own terrain to this thing, um, so like it's naturally positioned to be a hobby. Yeah. But it's definitely, I think, it's tighter than something like Legion in terms of competitive, because of like the the scope and size of the game, and the, the built-in ability for this game through the uh, objectives and scenarios to just completely turn it on its head. I think is very high. So if you want a competitive game out of it, it's there. But I think more than anything, like we were playing that last game, it was incredibly fun and it was very thematic. Yeah, uh, and I think that's what this is going to be best suited for. It's what I'm going to use it for, uh, but I don't think it, it's stopping anybody. If you have a crew of people that want to get together and compete and play tournaments and stuff, it's definitely it. it it's built for that. This is oh, don't forget Holt gains two extra power. Yeah, I got him. Figured. Yeah, gains three and all three. It's Curtis Rivers one. This program. Oh, that's so cool. Good job, Red Skull. You are awesome. Wow, he's got so much. He's a leader, man. I, I'm a Dr. Octopus fan myself. Um, I'm going to start with the Hulk. Let's go um, Gamma Leap, which costs three. Places carried within two range of its current location. I think I can, I think I can make this happen. We, we are about to find out. So there's my leap, and then I'll take my first move, which is small. Yeah, I can get on this serum, so that's good. And I'm in well, I'm well positioned for madness. And then, really, what I want to see is whether or not... The what? Let's see what? Serum or Hulk? The serum. You can't see it. Can you just move it up to the side here? This thing? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. You can see it. Right? No, just a little... Okay, yeah. We can just put, push right it right there. there. That'll work. Um, I'm also going to do this since you can see them. I'll just do... I thought I needed more. So let me just do two... I'm going to do two moves and take back the Gamma Leap. Okay, cool. Uh, so basically two small moves to get to the serum, and then I feel like I'm surrounded by terrain that's going to work in my favor because I'm going to be able to smash it and start rolling. You can throw it at me, too. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Over to you. Hmm. You got to either come out to play or keep turtling. <laughs> well, someone on the Facebook group for Crisis Protocol asked me, if I could throw a car with Carol Danvers, and I'm gonna try. It's not yet, but it's. You got a big target right there. I need. Well, I need another energy to make it happen. I don't, I don't know of a way to make that thing. Strike some. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a next. I turn. have priority though, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get to go with her before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this, we each gain a point if it's contested. 
It's just a standard objective control. So if we both have one there, it doesn't matter? If we both have one there, no points, but we both get a power. Anybody around it gets a power. And then if you have more around it, so you this, get a point. Uh -huh. This only goes poorly. Great. If and when you somehow activate Hulk out of order. Is that possible? Like with Red Skull? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, let's wait. Not get Carol Danvers pounded to the I would. I mean, it would be a series of very strange things. I would need to move and then do my gain a bunch of energy power and then do my team tactic card. Ah, uh, sweet. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go with Iron Man. As I like to call him, Cheeto Man. <laughs> From the uh, Avengers video game? What was that old video game that was I incredible? I think it was just Avengers for like Nintendo. I played that it so just much. Looks like Hawkeye Cheetos awesome. coming up. Yeah. And like his great. all purple get up. Yeah. Mm, not quite there. Mmm, good. Excellent. But it's cool. All right. Is that it? Yep. Oh, really? Just move twice. Huh. I need my check marks. Hold on. Well, Avengers we go. Assemble. Okay, let's look at Doc Ock because I want to use him. After the effect is resolved. I'm a little sad they didn't put Doc Ock like off of his base on his, uh, I may do that. You, you, I could customize that pretty easily. Off of his base? So like if his little arm here mm -hmm. was touching the base, you could, that could be turned down pretty quickly. Oh, you think you could have him elevated? He normally does this like thing where he's like oh, walking up on yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. So like if he's just hanging in the air like that, I think that'd be super slick. Yeah. And I'd probably do both of the closed ones down actually. Or maybe the open one, so it's kind of like claws. Anyways. All right, Doc. Let's go medium. I wanted to give you a little target. And let me make sure that this makes sense. There's no way I can get there. Wait, is that a range three? That, that's going to be real close. Let me see how close I can get. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's funny, uh, being back in superhero land mm -hmm. between this and Champions, like, you just kind of forget for a, like, it's, it's just been a, I've been watching the movies, but like, you just, f f it reminds me of Power Rangers as well. Like, when I started playing that game again, it was like, oh yeah, I used to love this stuff. So that's a three range attack for sure. Come and get it. So I have to decide if I want to attack you or if I want to go get that point and a, and a power, which is extremely good. Hmm. How close was I? A mere, a mere half inch. <laughs> we were on the verge of greatness. What do you think? What's your um, What's your defense against physical with Iron Man? Four. Ugh. And he reduces damage by one to all attacks. Well, I mean... I Invincible think, Iron Man is uh, that ability. That's pretty obviously a get the point move <laughs> for me. It's like, oh, I did a damage and gave you a power, and then that's about it. Hello, Doc Ock. I'm gonna be honest. Not having the web slinger around this game is, uh, I feel is it sad. Well, he's just so him, like agile and like he does a lot of stuff for free. Can you throw me here into this lamp? Do you have a throw ability with Iron Man? Um, I could push you if I repulse or blast you. Okay, so you could come over here. Well, it's just away, so it would be. I'd have to like be here. And then you're next. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, let's leave him there, and then we'll hang. Give him the check mark. Checkity check check. Now technically, Red Skull is within range to motivate one of these characters. To go? Yeah, but I'm not sure that that's really ever. I get one of those a game, so. It's a big deal. I don't think you've used well, it I'm gonna, just to like. I'm going to give you the opportunity around. to use it. How about that? Yeah. Um, let's go with old Carol. Lieutenant Ern. Captain Danvers, is that, was she general captain? I don't know. Are you asking me a question yeah, about Marvel You lore? don't have a clue. It's okay. She's coming to take on Hulk, the only one that can, and not just get owned. Okay. Um, let's see, Energy Blast is a Very cool. four. I need to know more about this cube. The cube? Yeah. Tell me everything. 
What do I need to do? We are just going to watch the Captain America movies. Well, I've heard that before, but nobody's inviting me. I'll, you're welcome. Let's do it. I'm going to get it on the schedule. At least the Captain America ones. All right, I'm going to energy blast you. Okay. Uh, Carol Danvers is energy blasting Hulk. It's an energy attack. So. I've got two energy defense. Wow, this is amazing. You ready for this? Watch this. I just watch. It's your rolls four. Uh, so we got, oh my gosh. Did you hit a lot? I got four. I got two crits. So go ahead and roll your defense dice. <laughs> Double two skulls. skulls. Okay. Great. So I got two crits. So I add two dice. A hit and a skull. So I got five. Um, I got a skull. So on this energy blast, she can reroll any number of her attack dice. Wow. I didn't need to. You didn't need to. But I could have. Not a bad problem. Uh, so that. I'm going to hit you for five. Okay. And then after the attack, I gain an energy. Man, just straight up five damage to the Hulkster. Bam. Just like that. And so does that mean I get uh, I get plus one attack? Oh, you know what? Huh. I'm what? doing it right now. What's this thing? I got an I got an energy from the energy blast. I didn't realize it. And then I have Captain America as a day like a day unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Reduce the first superpower I use. So I'm gonna use a Danvers special. Oh, the old Danvers special. Yeah. All get right. Get that at a diner. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character. Both of size. Oh, oh wait, I'm not or choosing an enemy Hulk. character. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm choosing the car. Yeah. Uh, Within two, so it'll be this one, um, and throw it medium. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw it in that general direction. Yeah, I'm just going to say, you know, it scoots along its path. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this superpower can only be used once per turn. So I throw it at you. It's a three because it's a size two uh, feature plus one. So Hulk will roll his physical defense to try to dodge out of the way. I threw a car with Carol. Achievement unlocked. It's done. That was, yeah, yeah, it was one right. of my goals. And a Hulk, no less. So here's two, and we get no blocks. So I'm going to take three more damage. Because about halfway there. By the way, you have eight extra energy. Oh, right on. <laughs> That's important. You can always just count up the damage counters. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, the downside of attacking Hulk, is that he is going to go on a tear. It may be worth trying to Red Skull him into action. Because like he could maybe go deal with Captain America and rid you of that. Token. If he can get there and do it, sure. So, I mean, he's got, he's got it for days. So he's got the leap. I'll say that he's, that's going to do more than Red Skull's going to be capable of doing. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Ryan says, Hulk is not going to like that. Strike. What's his big? And he's got a beam, too. Let's not sleep on the beam. Hulk smashes the thing. Yeah, and that's a range too. So I think, yeah, okay, let's. I let's, mean, the main thing is if you can get to the dumpster, dump that into me, and then also be able to do that. But, okay, we're, we're setting this up. Let's yeah, see if we can hey, do Hey, you it. figure out your coolest move. You live your best life here. I'm living my best. Two of another character. It's really cool. Like Carol coming over and flipping a car to Hulk, and then Hulk just. <laughs> Real good. I'm curious to see what Thor does. Mm. Without just being overpowered god of thunder. All right, here we go. Let's get Red Skull in the fight here. So the first thing I do is I'm going to use the Cosmic Cube. This character gains three energy. And then roll five dice. For each skull, I take a damage. Technically, I could get myself very close to death. Do you gain energy from this damage? No. I don't think so. That'd be busted. None. Nailed it. I don't know what's <laughs> happening here. I'm just... I just gain three, and then you it's risky, so sometimes you take damage. Um, and that doesn't take an action. To the, it does take an action. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can still get there. Is this going to be... Oh, no, there's no way. Hold on, let me see if that... There's a better... So I needed two power, and I don't think there's a way to get it. Hmm. Nope. There's no way to get the power that I need. Because I need two to use the Cosmic Invigoration. So I have to take an action to use Master of the... or to use Cosmic Cube. And then my next action is move, and there's no way. I think I'm like right here, and I've got to be within two. Well, I think you're, you're just kind of set up for it next round. To get him right? going. So like if you move Skull to like here to gain a point and a yeah, power. Yeah, let's do that. And then like... Let's just put him... Yeah. Let's put him on the dumpster, you know. And then... Uh, Next round, he can obviously go and make Hulk go crazy. 
I've got one extra action. I might, I'll tell you what, if I, is there a world where I can get within four? No, of Captain America, there is not. No, I am within four of this, and I think that it might matter. Um, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Can you hear me that medium? Mm -hmm. Let's be master of the cube, okay? I think something. This is a good question from Raymond on Facebook. When you throw terrain, mm -hmm. do you measure, we may have been doing this completely wrong in the last game, do you measure from the model throwing it or from the model being thrown? Yeah, I think that was a weird rule in the demo too that really felt awkward. Because like with Spider-Man, it felt natural to be like, I'm webbing you and tossing you mm -hmm. into this thing. But even from like Danvers, it's like, is she like picking it up and chunking it at him? Because if so, I can't actually hit you with that car. So with throwing a character, it's interesting because it says the player performing the throw positions the movement tool with one in touching the thrown character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would make me inclined, but you can't put you can't a tool do it differently. You can't put the tool on the terrain piece though, Aww. so they may have to like pick it up. That's a bummer. The character's controller positions the movement tool with one in touching the character performing the throw. That's going to be a common problem in this game. So let me just see something really quick. You can just, I mean, we're good. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I, I just want to do this. Let's see if I go here. Huh. And then... That's good. I love it. So like when I'm throwing from the character though, you're like, hey, let's move forward. <laughs> do I... This is why I love it, right? This, it's great. It's it's totally fine. Um, do I if I you know like pick this car up and mm -hmm. I'm chunk? It makes sense on a certain degree, right? It's like lift it and then chunk it at you. Mm -hmm. um, the where does it end? Does it have to like? Can I only hit things inside my template? You would, man. Good question. Yeah, yeah. It must be. That's exactly how it works. So characters are thrown how you would expect it to be thrown. Yeah, and like then, so you've, if you threw Hulk, right, it would be from Hulk's base. Uh, a terrain feature that is thrown is destroyed, yeah. Um, the first terrain feature or character contacted or overlapped by the movement tool suffers the effects of a collision with the thrown terrain. You ignore any terrain feature the throwing character is overlapping when determining collisions. And I assume that you would um, ignore the terrain feature itself. Yeah. It wouldn't collide yeah, with itself. It, it, pick it up. Um, and then train feature, then it collides with the character, the character's making dodge roll, yeah. Interesting, okay. That's so, going to be so hard to remember. Oh my gosh. So when you're throwing a character, mm -hmm. it's from the character being thrown. Yeah. And when you're doing the train, you can't put a template on the train. That makes a little bit of sense in that regard. Like I can't put, it's like where did you put it on Look, the I'm dumpster? I'm doing it right now. But like, <laughs> what, you know, where do you pick? It is cleaner if you have to like pick up the dumpster and throw it. That's all right, yeah. That's fair. All right. Um, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this thing. Um, I'm going to use the Cosmic Cube ability, Master the Cube, uh, and it says: choose this character or another allied character within four of this character and place it within two range of its current position. And that cost me three. Two range. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh, Hulk smash. No, I still want that serum. So I got you. let me just just get me a little closer and still with him like right. one right there. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Hulk angry. Hulk looks great. Looks good on the board, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, and we are activated. Boom. Yeah, I also activated. Him. All right, are we all done? Where you, is you, my check mark? You hit everybody, didn't you? Here's a bunch of them. There they are. I just yeah. making sure. Um, You're a lot of power, too. I remember thinking, the thing that was weird about it, because I tried to throw some of the Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And when you're throwing the terrain, he picks it up, and it, it was like, I can't ever throw this far enough for it to matter. Mm -hmm. And it felt like I wanted to be able to, like, Yeah, like, take it toss and it. wing it. Um, but it makes sense, too, because, like, it makes you want to throw the characters more than That's the true. terrain. Like, throw characters into terrain. I do like, yeah. yeah. And I, I am going to do that next turn, hopefully. All right, so go, go to the cleanup phase, shall we? Yep. I've got one, two, three serums. You've got a serum and a hostage. We score three points. For civilians, so everybody's going to score three. The flags are up, up north. All right, yep. there they are. I'm orange and you're blue. And then we go up to the... Uh, you have anything that triggers at the... 
into this one? I don't think so. At the cleanup phase? Uh, resolve anything, any dazed characters, no, no, no. We don't pass the token because you did not take the last That's action. Right. And then each character gains one power, or in Hawk's case, three. One, one. And then if you're next to a serum, you also gain an additional one power. So that'll be Cap. Hulk, boy. My boy. Does he have a, is there a cap? Is there a power cap? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but maybe. I mean, this is unbelievable. How much power? But I guess that's kind of the point of Hulk, right? Brendan's also saying that throwing the character is guaranteed damage, whereas mm -hmm. throwing the, the terrain is not, which is interesting. Guaranteed one, unless you're yeah. crossbow. Mm. Uh, okay, I don't see anything about max power, so that's that. And then we clear everything from the end of the cleanup. Yeah. And then to you. All right, so... I want to see if I can, like, stun or stagger. Mm, rocket Punch would be good on Hulky. Hulk Mania. Oh, my gosh. But I don't Hulk have the smiles. energy. Oh, I can get the energy, though. All right, so I'm going to try to stop you from doing your, your madness, which seems like the thing I should be doing. Power cap is 10. Oh. I Great. remember I remember reading that somewhere. Okay, well. Wish I could have used it. I didn't give you the chance. Boom. All right. Um It's Danvers time. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. She is going to strike Hulk. Okay. Range two. You're in range two. I roll five dice. What kind of attack is it? Physical. Physical. Two dice. Two hits and a crit. Two wilds. Right, nice. So I have my crit. Nothing. So. 2v2. Two two. Nothing. No, I have three. Oh, yeah, you do have three. I'll so one. one. I gain an energy. Man, that was. I was nervous. I need that energy to do my next you trick. Gain an energy. So this I'm going to spend. I'm maxed out. Uh oh, I'm a fool. <laughs> this is miniatures game. Ah! <laughs> oh no! The rocket punch is not a superpower. Oh, you got to spend an action to do it. No, I just it. I was gonna use my cap discount. Mm -hmm. My plan was to stagger you. So you needed to hit an extra damage. Luckily, mm -hmm. I rolled two wilds like a moss. We did, yeah. Which is not usual. Not the usual. So now you're just gonna get wrecked unless you leave. But let's just see what happens. If I mean, you just Cap hang can't out. move. But you're going with Carol. I know. I was going to stagger you so you couldn't come get Cap. Oh, so you think I'm not just going to smash Carol because she's the one who's been shooting me this whole time? <laughs> I'm okay with that concept. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely going to try to jump on top of that dumpster. I have a feeling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. That's exactly what Hulk would do, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, given that didn't work, Carol is just going to move. We're going to go past Hulky. All right. Uh, that is Danvers. Danvers out. Okay. I think it's very short push for it. one more wilds are rolled. Okay. So now you're saying it's time for Hulk Mania. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Get the guns going. <laughs> All right, let's, let's divvy this out. So I'm going to cash in a three for three ones. Two. You got to give me a spare energy over there. I don't have any. Use it for calculation's sake here. Okay, so we've We're got, about to see what Hulk's made of, right? We know Hulk smash is going to happen. We know I'm at plus two attack dice. We know I can stagger and throw you with that attack. That's incredible. <laughs> We know I've got a gamma <laughs> weave going on. We can also do a strongest one to smash with some terrain. Oh, well, dude, this is great. Jeremy Young. Don't know anything about Christ Protocol yet, but he's been watching the Long Marvel Champions playlist to catch up and appreciate us, uh, what we're doing. Oh, good. Uh, he's going to be good, here good. for Champions Weekend. November awesome. November 22nd, 23rd. Awesome. Can't yeah. wait to... Yeah. I'll be hanging yeah. out all weekend. Excited to see you. Um, this is Crisis Protocol, the miniatures game coming from Atomic Mass a couple weeks after. It's actually the week before Champions Weekend. Um, so it's, I'm, okay, I'm so, excited so about this, all of that. This makes sense. What is it? A beam of range three? 
Huh. I could do the whole shebang. Is the cool do it, thing. man. I mean, it, we're here to see Hulk do Hulk things. But I don't really have a good beam. I'll I'll you, see I'll see where I am. When you I remind get to me of Eric Wainwright incredibly much. I want I like, don't want to use the beam unless you I want got the max full beam. value out of everything that you do. You gotta have value. Yeah. Okay, I think I can do both of these things. First thing we're gonna do, we're going to choose an interactive terrain feature. So that's a try. I'm I'm gonna do it with the. I'm gonna do it with the. Uh, Where's the thing where I take the thing and beat you with it? Smash. Smash. Oh, it's over here. Right. Okay, this is the piece that I've been missing. All right, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I, you're like, I know I can do it. Interactive die is a smaller size. They may spin to add a number of dice to the active characters. Are these both two? Yep. Okay. So that. Let's just start there. Within one of an active terrain feature, uh, spin two to play this card. So Smash is being played. The terrain feature is destroyed and removed from the battlefield. You ripped it in half. It's actually being used. <laughs> Your token, is that what that is? <laughs> Add a number of dice to the active character equal to the size of the terrain feature. Okay, that's the first action, or the first, and it doesn't take an action. Then we've got the Gamma Leap. So we'll do three to leap two. You somehow get the energy back to Hulk Smash? Hmm? What? What do you say? Right. I've got five. I've got five after the leap. How much is Hulk Smash? Two. Oh, or I thought two, it. Yeah, two energy. I thought it cost eight. Cost two, and you get eight dice. I get eight oh, dice. Oh, great. If you transposed it correctly, I assume it's not get pay eight and get two dice. <laughs> be exactly great. Less than I it's it's uh. It looks like four energy. <laughs> what is it? Who wrote this? I don't know. <laughs> what? It's four energy for Hulk Smash. Okay, so this is a four energy eight dice attack? Yes. Yep. Here, give me that pin. All right. Four and energy. A two range. Eight dice attack, two range. And it has the stagger and the throw yep. thing. Yep. Okay. Um, so we're going to... Now, what I don't know is, because each of those are uh, wilds, do you have to have two wilds for that to happen? Or any wilds for that both to happen? That's what I was actually looking up. And everything that I've seen says as long as one or more wilds are showing, I think the that's ability correct. can trigger. Yeah. I don't think you have to cash them in. Um, all right, so let's This jump. is amazing. Let's leap onto the... Let's Hold on. The... <laughs> I'm just going to prepare. You got that civilian around? Oh, Raj. It, I, this I, hold on, let me just I gotta get a picture of this moment. <laughs> hold on. I, it's just so good, right? That is kind like, of the, this is the whole point of miniatures games, is it not? Wow, upside down phone pick, huh? You'll like it. Throw that on your Insta. Hold on. I need this somehow involved. <laughs> now, the thing is, none of Hulk's abilities gain him energy back, which is pretty fascinating. Yeah. He has two ways of getting energy, getting beat and just that start around ability. I feel like I need... Do I? There it is. This is crazy. Just look at this. Would you, you look, look at that? Wow, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, okay, now we get to do the fun stuff. So let's, let's do the old right. Hulk smash. So we're going <laughs> to spin four and declare Captain the target. Do you have any reactions to that as you might? Um, I have a card that cancels this attack. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't I? <laughs> Dang! Can you pull him out of the way? This would be a killer time for that card. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Can Iron Man do that? You got power for days. Are you in range? What was the name of this that card? Uh, rescue or like um, Fly Away? When an enemy character targets an allied character within, I don't think he's within three. Oh my gosh. But it's close. If I had not <laughs> been a imagine? dummy. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, I could have just moved him out and canceled it. <laughs> Carol's not in there, is she? She's close. Closer. No. I left Cap all by himself. Wow. I could have I could have I could have just had her over here. But That's it's cool. Excellent. I wanted we both wanted to I see this. It. Okay, so let's pick up some dice. He's just going at five, six, seven, eight, plus two for the car, and then I've got plus three for my um, things. How many dice are you on? I'm technically on... 13? Eight, nine, yeah, 13. 
Well, I'm gonna pay two for plus two. Will we get extra dice in the Hulk pack? <laughs> <laughs> we better. They have dice packs. Okay, let's start here and just see what happens. So, smash, smash, smash. Let's see, that's not bad at all. No. I, rolled f I rolled terribly. You did. Uh, and then we have three extras, right? Yep. From the smash moment. And what we really want is a wild. So you got a wild? That actually, well, that's a crit. Ah, this is You didn't get a wild. Garbage. <laughs> it's such garbage. Right. How do you roll 13 dice and not get a wild? <laughs> That's so crazy. All right, you did that. Yeah. And I roll six. So you won't be staggered or thrown. Great. Yeah, which is a uh, deal. These are all nothing. I get the wild, so I'll add one. Or you get the crit, yeah. Yeah. So one. So I still take three. You take three. That's the. And then um, second action. Man, that could have gone. I still have that car. I get to do it again. With, uh, with all my attacks. Yep. So I'll do a normal strike, and that's just a range two, six die attack, no energy, and I do a push before damage is dealt if I'd like. So yeah, it's yeah. an eight dice attack because of the I'm going to pay two card. for plus two. You still have to? Oh, yeah, because you took damage. Mm hmm Nice. All right, six, eight. I, nothing but wilds this time, probably. There's, yep. oh, there my are. God. Uh, there's those. All right, three damage. All right, I'm rolling six. You got your wilds. Yeah, right? Awesome. Uh, wild yeah, and a you crit. Got... Uh, I'm not out of the and woods the block, yet. That's a block oh, a black, black. Um, so what's, what's terrifying is if that Hulk smash hits the wild, you're staggered, so your next action is a stagger. And I get a throw, so I get to throw you into the lamppost. Or potentially the... Uh, Trash can, though, I think you ignore any terrain you're standing on yeah. when you're throwing. So I'd throw you into the lamppost. So that'd be so one would have been damage. damage lamppost and minus one action for cap. Would have been it would have been great. Yeah. But you know, sometimes this is Thor Ragnarok Hulk. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he just misses. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I've still got one and um, oh yeah. shoot, hold on. I have three extra dice on that strike. This is forever? What's forever? Every every three damage is plus one to everything I do? Yeah. Oh, so I had an extra three. On both attacks? Well, I, I got the first one. So take one more damage. All right. It's worth something. So yeah, that wild would have been nice. I would have dropped that civvy right off of you. You're only a five? Yeah, I would have been. Ooh not. It would have not it would have been better than staggered. I would have not gotten to activate this one. Yeah. The, the dice have a big impact on the game. It's, it is a <laughs> part of the game. You are not mistaken. All right, here's the check mark. Hulk's Hulk gone. Done, and Carol's done, right? She's done her thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These, it's all about these uh, tactic cards, isn't it? Allied, make real any number of attack dice. Oh my gosh. Dude. What? That's so good. This Dark Rain card. I spend three from any Cabal character, like Red Skull. Choose an enemy character. Allied Cabal characters may reroll any number of attack dice when attacking that character this round. It's incredible. If I could somehow get Hulk into the Cabal, I could just be like 13 dice with all rerolls. With reroll, yeah, it would just be <laughs> death. Yikes. <clears throat> all right. Let's think about how I want to not die. Because Doc Ock hasn't gone. Neither is Red Skull, right? Nope. Yeah, I'm just, we're just one on one right now. And. Hulk's at nine, so if I do 11, he's out of here. Mm hmm. He's gone forever, yeah. That's what I have to do. It's a fascinating, uh, it's a cool mechanic because you can really stack it on. I mean, he's only got the two defense. Mm hmm. All right, let's go, Iron Man. Let's see if we can take, take out the Hulk. Hulkster? That's pretty wild. So that was... It's really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. 13. So there's... You need a dice calculator one, for two, Crisis Protocol. Three. It, wilds count, right? I rolled 24 dice. Four. So 50-50. <laughs> so on 13 dice, you should hit six or seven. 24 dice. And that turn. one or two should be crits. So you should really hit like seven or eight damage. This is the weakness of the Hulk. 
you know? Because sometimes you're looking at him, you're watching him in a, in a show or in the comics. Like, I actually grew up seeing the Hulk in the animated series more than anything else. Do you remember that old Hulk animated show? Yeah. Do you guys was, remember that? He was a beast. It was incredibly well done. <clears throat> I think it was, wasn't there an old Hulk show? Stream, you got me on that? Uh, if not, he was just in the Avengers, right? No, I remember like an intro where he was freaking out and turning back into Bruce Banner. Hulk animated series. Let's go with Cap first. The Incredible Hulk. There it is. Yeah, the yeah, animated series. Oh, it's so. All those nineties oh cartoons were the bomb. The memories. <laughs> David said, "Just goes to show you how tough Cap's shield is." Ninety-six to ninety-seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Queen. <laughs> um. We're going to go with Cap, just in case you sneak in there with uh, what's-his-face. I can't go under here. So Cap's going to do a strike uh, on Hulk. Okay. Five physical. Two dice on the defense. Ooh, good good hit. Hit and two crits. One wild. We'll add the crits. Those crits up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead and... Hit you for four damage on my little right. baby attack. Cool. <laughs> and I gain four energy from that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dice. How do they work? I forget how much fun dice games are. Three, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen damage I've taken. Do seven and you might you might do okay. Alright, Cap's gonna spend two. And we're gonna do the shield slam. Slam a jamma? Rolling six. Zero. Mm, mm, mm. Two crits and one crit. One crit. And All the right. wild. So three more damage. Uh, I, I don't have a block. Four, four damage. Mm. Uh, that's not... Uh, 15, 16, 17. Did you gain energy for all that? Yeah. Uh, 17. I just took three, is that right? Four? And it's your action. If you have any way of not letting Iron Man attack Hulk, it would be... That's the question. Or do you have a way of healing him? That is the question. Okay, let's see. How are we going to get out of this? Mm -hmm. I'm not using that Masters of Evil thing because it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> this is one Cosmic Cube, two Superpower only once. Hmm. How, I mean, how hard can Iron Man hit something? I have a ricochet blast that can hit for seven oh, dice. Oh, no. I have to be within two of cap? Yeah, he can. You have to be within four of cap. Ooh, nice. That's easy. <laughs> okay, I think, I think Hulk is done for. So I've got to think about the, <laughs> the best way to do this. Hulk smash. Mm, Hulk smash and immediately perish. <laughs> and get smashed, yeah. The story of Hulk. At least if... Let's do this then. I think I can do it <laughs> like this. Now, to be fair, I mean, I could whiff as hard as you did. Mm -hmm. You won't, though. Uh, within three... <laughs> okay. And then we've can got... you, like, stagger Iron Man or anything? I've got, some, I've got some ideas I'm working on here. Great. And I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be real good. No, because you get a dodge. So throwing a character into terrain is an auto one damage, right? Mm -hmm. Throwing a character into another character is one damage to the thrown character and a dodge roll from the yep. being thrown character. Still a manager's game in it. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play with some ideas here. All right. Characters. I'm don't, along for the ride. Characters don't block line of sight. Remember. So I guess hey. I can just. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just get that token out of here. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. We're here for the thrills. Okay, there's that. Doctor. I'm within three. Yeah. So let's see how I want to do this. I've got some ideas. Just going to murder Cap? Yes. It's not a bad play. It is definitely happening. Is it, though? Mm-hmm. And when I'm throwing another character, it's from me. It's not from the character, right? We just decided. When that? you're throwing a character, it's from the character. Oh, right. When you're throwing terrain, it's from the character. I'll fail forever on that. Absolutely forever. But like throwing Cap into the trash can is a damage. Yeah, yeah. Or the lamppost. So I can get him, but I'm kind of wanting to get him and Iron Man in the same. 
If it was for me, I could throw Cap into Iron Man, do one yeah. damage, and make you yeah. do the, the roll. The upside of having characters near each other is all the, like, within two helpy abilities, but the downside is that your opponent can throw them into each other. Mm -hmm. Now, the other play here, Zach, is Ox just rolls in there, smokes Cap, and takes the civilian. Mm hmm. They already moved once. Mm hmm. So you need to be able to both. I mean, it's a superpower. It didn't cost an action. Ah, oh, great. To do the thing. But really, the question there is I'm not going to have the power to. I'm not going to have the power to um, pick up the civilian afterwards. Maybe Red Skull. Could, could you not have, like, Red Skull to move him somehow? Um, that wouldn't solve the power problem. Yeah. All right. All right. We've gone through a number of... Well, what's Red Skull's movement? Uh, medium. So if you drop the thing off within two of me here, he can move. I move, could probably get, get there, yeah. Cool. I could probably get there. Okay, let's do that. But now. I could also come pick it up with Iron Man. You're going to have to make that choice. Yeah, do I want to kill Hulk or pick up the <laughs> Yeah, right. So, I'll tell you what I want to do. Um, let's do my first action here actually on Iron Man. All right. Let's just do that one. So I'm going to do a, a standard strike. And I have a couple of things that are notable. Uh, flurry of arms and making the attack each wild counts as two successes. Wow. So. <laughs> it's wild. And then scientific hu hubris, whenever this character rolls dice, it gains one power if it rolled at least one. So there's my extra power. I could actually do that if I hit a. Uh, so are you doing this on Iron Man or on Cap? Attacking Iron Man with a strike. You ready? Mm hmm. Dice is four within range three. Oh, the wilds Ooh, are days. Yeah. Those are two each. Those are two each. That's a five five damage attack right Is it there. physical? Mm-hmm. All right, so Iron Man's rolling four. And I rolled one defense and a crit. Mm. So I'll add a crit. Got a hit. That doesn't do anything. Right, so, so it's two, two blocks. Two versus five. I also have an auto block. Mm. So I take two. Taking two. I'll gain two energy. Power you up there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And then I'll spend three on the ox clutches. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character within <laughs> that's three. That's stack, by the way. All oh, right. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good move. Uh, throw through. it a small template. Let's throw it, uh, let's throw a cap into the, oh, the dumpster. The, yeah, that's fine. Let's blow up the lamp. You're dazed, and then let's drop that civilian two away. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So I'm dazed. Technically, I have another damage. And then that's my turn. So a move, attack, and then the old ox clutches. Now, the key here is if I had... Um, no, it wouldn't have worked yet. So I would have had to get the... I think Red Skull is going to have to pick up that civilian if it's going to happen. Yeah, I think the trick, though, is Iron Man can and shoot. How much does Hulk have left? Hulk has 15, 17, three left. It should be fairly easy. But you could also punt it. Let's not forget. And that does happen <laughs> to not just me. I've got to remember that. You've got to remember that yes, when you roll those dice. It's not all, you, you only remember the losses. You never remember the normal rolls. Hmm. So I think... Just looking. And he, he gained energy from that, though, right? Just curious. Hmm. Doc Ock? Oh, you spent all your energy. Yeah, it was three to do the ability. And Got you. There's nothing that says gain. This one I would have. Oh, you're so right. You should have two more energy, right? Yeah, good. I did two to you. Then it's still your turn. You can spend it to pick that up immediately. I'd be within one. Uh, <laughs> I, technically, I did three, and then you had the block, and so then two. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I got two. That's worth something. So I'm going to go first next round. I think this is the smart play to do is move Iron Man here. Then I will spend. Oof. Oof. So close. Yeah. Um, I'll just. 
Man is so oh, there's so there's you can be so good at this game. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I look at everything that could have happened, and it's like I, at the, every turn we're just doing the after wrong. After this choice. round, we should talk about that. <laughs> I'm gonna pay two. And I'm gonna sh use my uh, homing rockets on hold. Right on. So I can I borrow one more of those mm -hmm. dice? Several five. This is also a physical. For what it's worth. Mm. Four. Look at that crit though. He wants it. So three. Yep. Is that enough? Yep, that is enough. Just enough, and I gain three energy from that. <gasps> Bye, Hulk. See you, Bruce. Uh, then I'll spend an energy, and I'll pick up yep. the thing. Seems quite good. And so, get a little check mark. Let's talk about that. So in a, in a world where we're good at this game, um, the, the things you have to manage are, first of all, you have to master your cards here. You've got to not even be... Like, you got to know exactly what all of your things can do without... So you got to remove this decision point off of your... So then you're just looking at your tactic cards. You look at Sacrifice. So if Octopus is within two, he can sacrifice to become the target of the attack for Hulk. So, like, all of a sudden, it's like the game changes dramatically from one move. Yeah. It's incredible. Um, it's amazing stuff. That's the miniatures games are fa fascinating like So then what, what would you have done there differently? Basically, you just skip the attack on Iron Man. And you, you move again? Move, move. Yeah. Or you do the, you, you could potentially activate Red Skull, but I think you would still kill Hulk in yeah. that scenario. So Unless you put him up, and then you do the sacrifice swap on Red Skull. In the same kind of way that technically, I should have had Danvers or Iron Man within three of t uh, Steve, so that when Hulk came to do the big attack that should have killed Steve Rogers, you, you, you actually kill, uh, I do the yoink, and you can't even hit him. You do him. the yoink. Yeah. You gotta do the yoink. And then, it's so good. Yeah. When you're when you're good at this, people good at this game are going to be infuriating. Yeah, this is going to be so frustrating. But I mean, somebody I, who's really good. I think uh, obviously there's dice, but like the positional element of this game is exactly what you want out of a miniature game. Man, high level play on this, nobody's going to understand what's happening because yeah. everybody's going to be playing around all these tactic 100%. cards. Because it's also, crazy. Also, like if you think about if you know that I have the whatever that is, the. Uh, what is that card that takes the attack? Escort to safety. So if you know I have that, and I have Iron Man within three of uh, Cap, you don't. E I don't think you can do the Hulk move. Right. Hulk just has to beat up on Carol Danvers over right. there because you can't risk Hulk in that position. Because if you do, then I do, then you do, then yeah. I do, then you do. So then people then... are going to be like, ah, oh, Hulk could have jumped in there and smashed. And it's like, yeah, he could have, except for it would have failed. <laughs> Let me tell you this seven decision tree reason. Yeah, why it's that really good. It's, it's really. But it's the, the kind of ceiling thing. on this is high. I agree, and it's really high. I, I really, I'm really happy the tactic cards they decided to have be reveal information because mm -hmm. I feel like it's it reminds me a lot of X Wing that way. Where like if you're just playing casually, it's like ah, it's just dice. You, there's no way to know, but then like you see good players and it's like oh, <laughs> they know what they're doing. Okay, now I've got some decisions to make, and this is going to be a weird turn. Um, and it's going to be full of me trying to do more than I'm probably capable of. So it's just going to take a second to, to figure all of this out. Um, not affected. See if the chat's got any questions. This would be a good time to... <laughs> Someone says, Hulk whiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bit, I mean, it was just bad odds. Like, Hulk should have definitely... I think I could have played around it, but I think Hulk also should have been able to murder someone. Like... Really, if he hadn't gone over here, I think he could just knock Carol out. Full stop. Full stop. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So this is where we got to, like, use our big brain. Our big brain. Not the small one. So that becomes this. <laughs> I could do this. For that, and I've got to be within two, so I've got to move, and then I've got essentially one power. Okay, and then how many powers on Iron Man? Okay, this seems good. I'm, I'm liking it more and more. So I've got two plays here. I could basically play for points, or play entirely not for points and play for funsies. <laughs> I'm aggravated that you killed Hulk, so I feel like I should do something about it. Yep. Okay, then let's do this. 
What is your, is it any time you take damage, you just immediately reduce one, or is it only physical or something? Uh, when Iron Man would suffer physical damage, reduce the amount by one. Okay. So I can give you some arm lasers, potentially. All right, check this out. Let's do, um, we'll do that. We'll do a move. We'll do this thing. So let's do a move with Red Skull, starting with a medium. Let's see if that'll get me somewhere. Hit me up with that. OK, be here. Then is that within, let's do some carpentry. I think we could get there. Well, and turn it a little bit. Ding, ding. I think I think that works best. So let's do a move. Right? First action. Oh, there's his models just holding the cube. Then uh, second action we'll do the old cosmic cube. I'm gonna gain three. Yeah, I guess Hulk doesn't matter anymore. Yep. Gain three energy and Roll these dice and see if I hurt myself. Two damage. I don't think I gain energy from that. I think that's only no. during an attack, yeah. right? It would say otherwise. We make some assumptions here. All right, then I'll use my. Uh, oh, I had this power anyway. Cosmic Invigoration. If Red Skull's within two of another allied character, they may both spend two to play this card. What's this do? I already did, did my two there and two there. And then uh, I remove the activation token from Doc Ock. And I roll three dice. And it's like a normal attack. And for each. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course you roll it. Hit then. two crits. So I take three damage. Great. Uh, but I am now. <laughs> Ready for action. You almost had as many hits on that as you did the 13 dice. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. For, if that had been an attack, because you rolled two in. There was a part, like, so I actually wanted to put the Cosmic Configuration here, the Cosmic Cube, to give Doc Ock th three power. If I had done that, I actually would have knocked him out of the fight. So I'm glad <laughs> that I actually forgot that that was my plan, ultimately. Yeah. Um, OK, and that will be uh, Red Skull's turn, I believe. Yep. So I moved, and then I got my little attack, and I'm trading his for Doc Ox, basically. OK. And so you don't have anybody to activate, right? Nope. And so then Doc Ock is going to activate. And let's That's do. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like if you knock Iron Man out here, I have two characters that have been knocked out. I'm trying my best. Um, let's start with a strike. It's a zero power attack. I've got four dice, and it is physical. And hopefully it works here like it did last time. Okay, that'll, crit. that'll work. Crit's good. That means I'll get a power back. I uh, can't see this. Uh, two wilds. Two wilds. All right, rolling in the crit. Nice. Good damage. So we will do three damage plus the crit, which means I gain one uh, power. And what kind crit. of attack is this? It's a physical attack. So you're minus one yep. on that. All right, so nothing happens. But I did get the power, which is nice. And then I'll probably just do that again. That's just, uh, I could also move back and gain a point. And a power. Mm, that's a much better choice. Yep. Much better choice. All right, I'm going to do it. And do the three, you don't gain, you gain power from the three damage you took there on Doc Ock? Three damage I took? No, I don't okay. think so. Now, we could be wrong about that. There could be a rule, and we should just look it up. That's like every time you take damage, you gain power. And that's probably worth actually Just looking. being 100% on? Um, whenever a character suffers damage as a result of an enemy effect. Cool. So no, no friendly fire will gain you power. That's okay. to prevent abuse. So let's move the medium here. Um, and I'm just going to go here, then one, and I want to stay next to Red Skull because we've got some team, teamwork stuff that can happen. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we saw with that, I mean, that is a non-ideal way to use that, but I think it's cool. We'll call it good. And uh, that's it. Okay, so end of round. Uh, Cap is confused, so nothing happens over here for mm -hmm. points. I gain two, three. 
And I'll gain one. So blue, one, two, three. Yellow, one. Then we go up to the power phase. Everybody gains one. Flip cap around. One and one. Yeah, cap flips. Hulk is out. And then anybody who's next to a juice box gets one. So does he, even cap now gets it, even though he was? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because you'd be up during the power up phase. That's what it says, yeah. During the power phase, characters gain one. Yep. That are contesting. And then uh, it goes to the activation phase. Now, technically, I was the last to activate. So then I just keep it, right? And so you keep it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel in a decent position. Yeah, you got a ton of power. And I'm down one character. I think you're in a good spot here. <laughs> Who is closest to being knocked out? Doc Ott? Yeah, he's two away. Mm, let's, let's just try to go for Red Skull. You know, why not? Actually, you know what? Here's what I want to do. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, let me make sure there's no... Man, Red Skull is so good when he's got that Cabal affiliation ability. You gain one every time you attack. Woo! Every time you, you damage, rather, with an attack. <clears throat> All right, let's go Cap. He's going to move. There's so much potential. There's just enough, like, yeah. just enough potential. And then he's going to shield throw. OK. We're going to get four at Doc Ock, physical. That's fine. I got four coming back at you. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> Moneymaker. That's actually oh, ideal. Uh, incredible, yeah. <laughs> so uh, can I have one extra die? Yeah. So two for my crits. Four. And so we've got three. OK. And so take I... Take one. And I didn't get a wild, so I can't ricochet. Ooh, and I gain one every time I roll a crit, even no matter what I'm rolling. That's a cool ability. That could have been good. You probably should have had more energy. Well, no, because I'm only on the defense. I've never, I haven't been attacked yet. Mm. I've mm. just been hurting myself. Okay. You take a damage from that? Uh, yes, I will now, and then I'll gain an energy. All right, and that's my turn. Do you get to shield throw at all? Get, no wild. I didn't get a wild. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. So just a move and attack. Mm -hmm. So there's a world where Captain America could die here. It's possible, I suppose. But who's going to do I've got to get Doc, Doc Ock working here. And Iron Man is not doing well against uh, arm lasers. Iron Man has three before he's knocked out. But if I do energy, you're not at minus one. That's right. And what's his energy defense? Three. Okay, that's that's reasonable. Let's start with the doctor. Um, we're gonna do some arm lasers, and we're gonna hope I get a crit so I get some energy back. So, huh? When it says any cabal character may spend three to play this card, does that mean you have to be activating a cabal character at the time? I think when it says active, yeah. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> Ask the chat. Does, is Will still on? I have no idea. Helping us out? Uh, so, can he play... Dark Rain. It says, any Cabal character may spin three to play this card. Does that just mean I spin it off of a Cabal character? Because that would make sense. Like, if you knock out my Cabal stuff. Um, I think that's He's, right. Will says, no, you do not. I don't have to be activated. Yep. Okay. Party on, Wayne. All right, let's go, let's go full stop here, then. So, I really don't want you to knock out Iron Man, because I have the coolest turn planned. Dude, he's gone. He's gone. Don't do it. So three on Dark Rain. Choose an enemy character. Allied Cabal characters may reroll any number of attack dice when attacking the chosen character this round. So we're going to choose Iron Man. I could also try to put Cap down for good, but I want to rid you of this hostage. Well, and if you can knock out Iron Man, I don't get to go with him. Then we'll start with Doc Ock. Arm lasers for three power, targeting Iron Man. Now you could potentially have a yoink card. I'm just gonna, it, just gonna open you up to that idea. Oh, so close. Close to yoink. I mean, Cap can yoink Iron Man out of the way. I mean, it, you gotta get out of four. Can you get out of four? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I've got arm lasers, man. Get I ignore him. line of sight, and you do not benefit from cover, if that were to matter. 
And here we go. We've got six dice, and because you're the cabal enemy... Oh, you know what? I lied to you. What's up? It's anytime Iron Man would take damage. And it's not physical. I thought it was physical, that icon, but it's actually any damage. <laughs> But he is my <laughs> yeah, curious, isn't it, Bryce? <laughs> I guess that's why I based my whole turn well, around. Well, Will just told me that. Uh, anyways, fine. I have one less defense die against this. All right, then the other. All right, there's two, and I can't reroll this boy. Do you ever reroll somehow? Yeah, the dark green is cool. gonna let me do that. All right, so I roll three, and I got two defense. Okay. That's really good. There. All right, so we'll roll here. Let's see if we can get more. Okay, <laughs> not ideal. Um, I don't have Pierce because no wilds, and that's it. Okay. So you take no damage. I take one. Yeah, it's oh, minus one. from Iron yeah, Man. Yeah, it's garbage, <laughs> man. <laughs> I didn't roll a crit, so I get no energy. Oh, bummer. Um, awesome. All right. So next up is more questions than answers. <laughs> mm, Do you have another right? attack or something? Within range three here. Yeah, so I can't throw. I can just, I mean, I gotta attack. Oh, Iron Man is to a minimum of one. Oh. So he has to take one. Dang, you would have taken a couple, huh? Yeah. Like, huh? yeah, there's been like three or four times that at that's happened. <laughs> that's at least at five. Least four or five, right? I have no idea. How many actually were there? I don't know, there was a few. I think there's at least one. We'll call it good on one. Well, because I, I, you only <laughs> attacked him once with Doc Ock over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And then it got him to minus one, I think. I don't think you've hit him since then. Here comes the second attack. Dr. Octopus using his strike, and it's within the range three. He's got range for days. <clears throat> and we do still get that. That's much better. We will get the reroll, but. Is this physical or energy? Uh, this is physical, yeah. Two. All right, and then we resolve criticals. So here's a critical. OK. I don't want to reroll any of that. I take one, and I am dazed. All right. And this thing falls wherever you boy. want. Um, I'll gain one energy for the scientific hubris whenever it rolls dice. And then... Uh, you've got Carol. She could swoop in there and grab that city. Yep. <laughs> Let's put it within two of me, and then I'll pick it up with Doc Yep, Rock. <laughs> correct. <Yeah. laughs> Spend one energy on that. All right, here's your card. All right, Dark Rain. Didn't actually do anything, if you can believe that. All right, let's go. Dude, I'm blowing through all my tactic cards, and you haven't used a single one. I I'm going to have a good turn. <laughs> See my power? I'm saving up for my mega turn, which is next round. DJ, you got power in different area. Yeah, it's anyway. going to be good. All right, Carol's going to move in. It's time for some. You haven't gone with Red School? I have not, no. She's just going to get my check mark on here. Um, she'll just uh, hit Red Skull for a strike. It's a little physical. You were within one, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Physical strike on Red Skull. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you can you can leave that roll. Oh my! I, you want to see this beautiful I roll? I don't want to look at. Oh no, is it good? No. Nope. That might affect my actions. See that? The stream probably can. I have this Hail Hydra. When this character is targeted, I may use this superpower, choose another ally within two to become the new target of the attack. Mm. But I don't really want to drop this civilian either. I mean, Red Skull can just pick her up. Yeah. Because I can't do it with Carol at this point. Okay, then we'll just blow up Ock, probably? Yeah. Assuming that, I mean, it sounds like... That sounds exactly what Red Skull would yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do that. Um... Someone Let's asking, uh, where's Deadpool? So this game's not even out yet. I assume we will eventually get a Deadpool, but you never know. All right, it's now targeting Doc. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and what's your, is it a physical or energy or what? Uh, this is a physical. Okay, so I get four dice in return. Hey. Block three. It's pretty good. Uh, and then I'll take uh, two. So I'll take one and get dazed. And I will gain energy. Gaining energy as well. Dazed. Yeah, that makes sense. Here's this. Red Skull is the boy. Yeah, he uses and abuses his team. So I drop, um, and I, I think you would, yeah, you would get to decide where to put that. Oh, well then I can pick it up. Oh, right I on. Yeah, about yeah. that. That's fine. I, I think that's spend energy with Carol. That's a better move anyway. And pick it up. 
She's uninjured at this point. Uninjured. There might be a. This might be a good time to do some things. Huh. Okay. Unleash the cube seems good, but I'm out of power. I could get to three, and then uh, well, there's that. I think it's all about points here. Dang. I need you to drop that civilian. Why do you always have that civilian? I got unbearably fortunate on that civilian. Because <laughs> you got to get a crit, right? It's one and eight times one and eight. Unbearably so like, fortunate. It's only like a 25% chance that my first action picks that civilian up. Yeah. And that's given me the tempo the entire game. Me going first and hitting that. And then also, obviously, Hulk missing big. You've had some... Besides our just awful play and not, <laughs> not being good at the game, bad luck beats. All right, why don't we start out with um, getting, getting energy. That seems like a good thing to do, right? Energy's good. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't know. I, I, gain, I gain three energy, not roll three dice, and then I roll five dice, and any skulls become damaged. I could just murder myself here. Two more. Nailed it. Okay. No it's pretty deal. clever because it's skull, red skull. Good it is. Skulls. It's clever. All right, and then um, I could do Master of the Cube. You're not currently defending anything. I have so much energy. Within two of its current position. So that's at least going to get me a, a make some money moves here. There's no way that's within one, right? No. I think this would be though. Okay. So, so I can is do, it each character within one gains you a point? I can do some fun things. Well, he'll be dazed. Mm. Yeah. So if I had unleashed the cube, this is absolutely the perfect time for it. It's a four energy attack. Um, and it says if it deals damage, uh, you can throw the target character a short distance, which is cool. But then if you hit the wild, after it's resolved, target character and anything within one of the target character gains the stun special condition. Now, you may have spaced this like an old miniatures. You're just an old miniatures player, dude. <laughs> but I could have thrown Carol here. Yeah, and then, and then done the slapped the stun. Yeah. yeah. Oh that would have been gosh. good. Wouldn't that have been cool? Uh, instead, we are going to do a straight up uh, strike. So just uh, two damage there, or two range there. It's five dice, it's a physical attack. And I'll gain energy equal to whatever damage is done, which is one right now. <laughs> Just blow those dice up. Oh, there's the crit. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Kind of wild. And then we'll spend three to move within two of the current location to pick up the one. However, we got to do that. To yeah, you got one. it. All right, and then we check mark it out. All right, Boom. end the round. So Iron Man is score some points. Flipping over. Player score victory points. Mark them on the mission tracker. So you've got two for the civilian, and I've got one for the serum. Yep. One, two, one. It's not how you win games. <laughs> it's not how you win <laughs> championships. the tracker. And then uh, everything with dazed gets undazed and injured instead. So Doc Ock will move over. All of these tokens will clear. Everybody gets a power. And then Red Skull will get an additional power for being in the serum, as will Doc Ock. And uh, that's it. I took the last activation, so is you there stay on target. Is there a limit to how many of these cards I can play in a single turn? I don't think so. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so, though. I think that's the whole idea. They're team tactics. <laughs> They're team tactics. I mean, go on. Just been saving up for the yeah, coup de gras dude, turn. I just want to see if I can bury your characters this um, round. Greatly impact the to play it, follow it. Once it's played, it's discarded, can't be used again. I had nothing about playing once per turn. <laughs> so good luck. <laughs> good luck. All right, I'm going to go with Iron Man. Are you going to do the shield thing, shield blaster? The ricochet? Mm -hmm. It's highly likely. What's it to you? <laughs> All right, so he's going to hop and skip here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to play Drop Off. Oh, yeah. When an ally character with flight begins a move action within two of another ally, which he was within Captain America, of equal or smaller size, they can each spend energy. Boom. Uh, when the active character ends this move, place the allied character within one of it, then the place character may immediately perform one of its attacks listed at zero cost. I love that. So we're going to put drop cap off over here. Yeah. And then he's going to do a shield throw. Just If this goes according to plan... It could be roll good. It's going to be amazing. So let's start with... How many has Red Skull got left? Six. We'll do Red Skull first. Shield throw. Oh my gosh. Why did I miss? Every time I look down at my tactic cards, I just lose. Two? I just lose, Zach. Too physical. Check out this. Look at this mission objective card. When I would drop a, like the civilian, I can pick it up by something within two of it instead of dropping it. It's like that would just pass the civilian to Red Skull last turn. It's like, why am I so bad at this? That okay. would have been good. That would have been good, right? Uh, so I hit you for two. On, On Red Skull? Physical, yep. We're doing a shield got, throw. He's got four defense. You hit the wild, too. I did, yep. We're going to ricochet this thing. Mm. With a crit, let's see if you can get a, prevent the damage on this extra die. No. Didn't do it. So you take one. Take one. And then we're going to ricochet that into Doc Ock. This is quite amazing, actually. Um, it feels good. Three? Can you keep ricocheting? No, it's only one. Oh, bummer. That'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, Doc's got four on the defense. Pinball machine. Um, two crits. All wow. right. There was a block there. No, uh, was it? Uh, it's hard to tell from here. I, I thought it was a block. <laughs> I guess that's why they explicitly say in the rules to do it a very specific kind of way yeah. to avoid that exact. So moment. you cancel three, so nothing but happens. I do gain on that. Uh, energy, so thanks. Then scientific hubris. Iron Man's second action. I'm gonna play the ricochet blast. Iron Man and Cat both spend two. So you took a move with the with the fly me to the enemy. Move, drop thing, off cap. And cap throws the shield, a... bounces it off of both of them, and then Iron Man's shooting the beam off of the shield when they get it back. And this is going to be a seven die attack. And uh, oh wow, the beam's a seven. Yeah. Okay, who are you attacking with this? This is important. <laughs> it's really important. Iron Man may reroll any number of dice during this attack. Oh, uh, so. One on Red Skull, uh, Doc Ock is at a six health, wide open. <laughs> you want me to tag Doc Ock? I do. You don't want Red Skull to go down? That's fine. I mean... No, I'm going to go Doc Ock because I don't want to waste any damage. All right. Well, now I've got decisions to make. Uh, I'm going to do Sacrifice. If an allied character is within two of another allied character and is targeted by an enemy attack, those allied characters may spend one each to play this card. Red Skull is now the target. Oh, so you're taking it for Red Skull. Yes. All right, here we go. I can't take, like, six damage to Doc Ock and just squeeze <laughs> him. It's impossible. <clears throat> uh, so we got a crit, one skull, a wild, and a damage. And then I can reroll any, this is a blank, re any number of these dice, which I'll get to in a second. So you roll your defense first. Yeah, yeah. Um, Red Skull's a four defense. Is that right? You can take that skull if you need it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to reroll these three. And then I have to add a crit as well after this. So then I'll add a crit. Hmm. So four? Four to three. It's enough. Red Skull. <laughs> takes one, takes one energy, becomes dazed. And now we need Doc Ock to do some work, let me tell you. So that was just Iron Man. Haven't even gone with Cap yet. Hmm. And Cap's uninjured. He is injured, but he's no damage. Oh, he is injured. So you got and two injured. His blanks count as defense. So yeah. I, yeah. Man, that's crazy. It's impossible. You needed one more good Hulk smash. I played the I played the attacky game with a team that really should have been playing the objective game. Because I think I could outmaneuver. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of throwy stuff. Well, you have long range with him, and you have a lot of movement, weird shenanigans with him. Yeah. It's like those early, those proto, uh, when you're first learning a game and you go back and watch yourself playing and you're like, he did everything wrong. Yeah. Everything. We did a lot wrong. <laughs> everything was wrong. Yeah, yeah. that's from Bryce Dillson. Destiny, Destiny. 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 Um, <clears throat> It's also like, I, I don't know that Hulk is the, the dude for Red Skull. Well, yeah. There's some movement action happening, but look at this Hulk over there. He's looking <sighs> good. He looks good. Yeah. Mm, 
Okay. Who? What are your What are your health values on Cap? Okay. Five on Iron, Iron Man, five. six on Cap. And Cap has not gone yet. Nope. I need a Hail Mary here. Don't you agree? What is your Hail Mary? Can you not cap right, out? That's a good question. Yeah. I guess I should have an idea of what that is before I try to throw it. <laughs> yeah. Usually, you know, you have to know which end zone's yours. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try. I have seen people make half-court shots for the wrong side, though. You know what's crazy? I have this thing that changes one of the defending characters' uh, good results to a blank, and that will just continue to make it a block for Captain America. <laughs> it's so frustratingly <laughs> dumb. Captain All right, so maybe, maybe Captain Marvel is the target now. <laughs> that way you can kind of knock out all three of my characters? I can try to... I can try to at least drop this civilian off of you. So let's do the arm lasers. What's her defense on energy attacks? Four. What's her defense on physical? Three. Ah, it's just bad no matter how I slice it. This is garbage. They're not great. You already went with Iron Man. Yep. Hmm. All right, hold on. I got to think for a second. It's really a, a thinking, thinking moment. So the only way that you you lose on Captain America is hits and skulls. Yep. But there's three out of eight still that are misses on defense. Mm -hmm. So with across three, across four dice, I should miss at least two. <clears throat> okay, she's interacted two or less, and within three, and throw it short. Let's see this. And this is a size three, um, right? So I could, yeah, I could technically do that. Oh, no, wait, it's from Doc Ock, right? So I could definitely do that. Unless you were throwing me. You could throw me at Iron Man. Yep. 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 I think that's obviously a decent thing to do. Um, let's start. But if they're Iron Man at me, Iron Man takes the auto damage, and Cap could take the potential damage. Depends on what you want. I think it's the Hail Mary, basically. Yeah. So Doc Ock against um, Captain America is the worst matchup because literally the it just doesn't work well. Um, so let's start with the arm lasers. It's six dice. Okay. Energy attack against against Captain America. Pay two. Increase my dice by two. Is that any attack you can get on? When it, uh, physical or energy attack? Shield works on anything. Mm. Okay. So three with a wild, which means I can change one of your results to a blank. I'm going to take these two. <laughs> okay. Lots of, lots of that. All the, the, yeah. the beats. Okay. So now things have changed. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, let's do a, uh, there's no winning here. <laughs> there's no winning. It's all wrong. It's just <laughs> not good. Uh, um, well, okay, let me see if you tank up Captain America. Let's do a, uh, a normal strike as my second action. I am going to just take this one. Okay, it's physical, if that matters. Nope. All right. It's pretty good. Here's your wild card. Bring a physical in. That's one good. crit. And there's that. So one. All right, so I got one, two, three, four. It's close. It was closer than it I thought. It is close, yes. How much damage do you have? How uh, much health do you have? Two health left. All right, so I've got to throw Iron Man into you and hope that you just make Whiff. a bad, bad roll. Now, is, your, is all your weird abilities on attacks, or does it apply to dodges as well? Uh, when defending his attacks, I had my blanks work. Okay, so, so throws possible. are good, yeah. All right, so I did hit a crit, which means I gain an energy from my scientific hubris, which had to happen. And then Ox Clutches, choose an interactive terrain or enemy character, both sides two or less, within three, and throw it a short distance. Ding! Hmm. So Iron Man will be thrown... Oh, wait, when I throw a character, it's from the character, yep. right? Straight into cap. Yeah. And that's so a Iron three. Iron Man takes one. Iron Man takes one, yeah. And then cap, what, ha what does cap do? It's, it's a, a physical? Three, so you roll your physical defense against the three, which is size two plus one. 
and hopefully you don't avoid them all because that would be great. You avoid one, two. two. So, so I take one? You take one damage. Does that mean you're dazed? I'm one away. Ah! I was two away. Ah! So close! <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really good. It was close, right? Yeah, because it... That was really close. Yeah. Because we, we had the auto damage if I just threw cap, but if I got two damage with that... Yeah, because I already got with Iron Man, so if you get... That would take cap out of the game, then, then I would have Carol here. Yeah. But, like, we're still in a game at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My turn? Mm-hmm. All right. Carol or Cap? You you could maybe, I think you can drop Doc out of this one. And then I think it's just essentially a game over. I could try to beat you with Red Skull against two things, but so you, it doesn't seem like a big... You're out of the turn, right? Yeah, I'm done. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's do this. We got a daze. Iron Man's gone and Doc Ock is gone. Ooh, that was close. Let's go with Cap. How's chat doing over there? Looks like they're hanging out. Yeah, they're hanging out. Just uh, yeah. watching. Uh, Cap will go. And he will just punch. Uh, the Doctor? The Doc. So I'm going to strike for five. I don't have anything that would do no damage in return. Oh, sweet. All right. One wild. Is that physical? Mm-hmm. Block One it. Block. Uh, Cap will do it again. Do that exact same thing, would you? Not today. That's better. Three. Alright, three. Oof! Nothing. So and you get one crit, didn't you? That was... I, I actually turned it when okay. I hit it. So three damage. I'll take three. And I get three energy with that. So at the end of my activation, I'm gonna play Follow Me. The active character may spend six, which I Oof. will. Uh, choose good. another allied character within three. Immediately activates. Oh, he's already activated. I thought I reactivated mm. him. That doesn't work. So we won't do that. Well, I mean, is that necessarily the case? Choose another allied character within three of the active character. The chosen character immediately activates. Can I activate Iron Man again? Can you activate if you're already activated? No? We don't think so? What up, Kimati? He uh, says hi and that he loves our channel. Hi, come on. Great. Um, is it explicitly, I mean, I guess we kind of have to do the whole rule book thing, don't we? Is it explicitly you can't activate unless you are unactivated? I is us act acting this, asking this question just like the epitome of everything wrong with games? Yes. Uh, during a play there, when a player ends... Uh, during a player, they activates a player activates a character and make actions. I there's nothing. There's, I'm just saying. Each character may make two actions when it activates. Uh, okay. A character with an activated token on it can't be chosen to activate again. There it is. So we'll skip it. Uh, let's go Good with Danvers. She's going to rocket punch. It's a seven die energy attack. Ugh. Against Doc the doctor? Mm -hmm. I guess the only target you have. And if I... Uh, you need two damage. If I get a wild, you get staggered. Two damage. <laughs> all right. All right, looking all right. Four with a wild. I got a wild. He's gone. <laughs> rocket, rocket blaster. Rocket right man. <laughs> uh, All right, and then uh, let's go ahead and go get some points, man. Nah, I'm just gonna strike Red Skull. You can't. I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, she'll just move. Yeah, help. But she can't move fast <laughs> you enough. Can't help me. You can't beat <laughs> me harder. <laughs> I can't make it. Let's see if I can make it over here. Yeah, I think you're right dead in the middle of the board. Yeah. yeah. No, no making it. It's fine. All right, so at the end of the round... Well, let's keep rolling. How many points you got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'll and get I, zero. I activated last. Yeah. So pass Red Skull might have some sweet revenge here. If he can kill Cap, he'll be happy. I do want to see if that can happen. So remove all dazed and statuses. Uh -huh. I'm back. Stand up. Get the doctor out of here. Hmm. I was ready to... Uh... So what I should have done and could have done 
is after Iron Man activated earlier, he drops Cap, Cap throws the shield, Iron Man does the ricochet blast. And then I does the thing. then does the thing yeah. where Cap immediately went. That's correct. Yeah. Yep, that is correct. Okay, maybe it's time to unleash the cube. The cube. The cube, all right, so. I don't know what the cube is, but it sounds terrifying. I'm injured. I don't think that adds anything to my list. Cosmic, unleash, no. You gotta watch that, sometimes it happens. What happens with the cat? Cosmic Cube is my first action. I'm gonna roll five dice and gain three power. Everything's fine. Take one. From the skull. Gain three. All right, then my second action, I think I am gonna cube up. Um, it's you don't seven. have a way to throw Cap, do you? Yes. Because he's just one health away. Yes. Yes, I do. So, I think actually the best thing to do is to hit Iron Man with this. That Now, I could potentially just totally obliterate the board here, which would be hilarious yeah. if that's possible. So let's um, let's target. The people want it. I hear the crowd sorry. chanting. <laughs> let's target Iron Man with a four cost unleash the cube. Ryan asking if the characters have point cost for balancing teams. They do. They all have a associated threat cost, basically. Top right uh, stat line up there. You pull Red Skull up there. Iron Man's three. Captain America's four. Captain Marvel's four. Red just for some context. Four. All right, unleash the cube. It deals damage after it's resolved. This character may throw the target a short distance. Oh, nice. And then after this attack is resolved, target character and characters within one of the target character gain the stun special ability. Mm. Uh, this character is not affected, so it doesn't affect me. So I can stun you. Although stun, at this point, you have like a bajillion power. Doesn't matter. Unless, if stun said you can only have one power, I would be so much more into it. Like there's, a, it removes your, all your power. Like your maximum power becomes one. That I think that would be better. No, it only gains one power. Yeah, it'd be crazy because I have yeah. ten power on cap. Did we good. take one for the energy phase? Did you get one? On I everybody? did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna matter, but I'll take it. Okay, seven dice coming at you, Iron Man. If we have nothing but hits here, we're in a good spot. Not terrible. So we've got four hits and a crit. What kind of attack is this? Uh, this is a energy attack. I an energy attack. Three. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, one crit. Now, I need a five to kill you. But I'm minus one. If this is a wild, it's really good, because that's the throw. That's what I need to kill, potentially kill the captain. Me and the captain making it happen. Oh, baby. Oh, got the wild. Oh. All right, so. So it's going to kill, it could kill both, because Iron Man will collide for one. And then Captain America will have to dodge. So Iron Man gets, f you said, four here? Yeah. And he's minus one against all attacks. Isn't yeah. He? So he's one. No, wait. How much damage is happening? All right. So hold on. you got no blocks. I've got five damage. So take five. So he's dazed. He's, he's dazed. He's dazed. And then I'm going to, yeah. wait, does that mean I can't throw him? That's going to be devastating. That's what <laughs> it means. Hold on. After it's resolved, you may throw the target character. Can I throw you if you become dazed? Look at dazed. Oh my gosh, it's gonna say I can't target him or, or throw him or something. Or you play it out. <laughs> Maybe it means I can't target him. <laughs> That's so devastating. <laughs> Come on, man. Can you block one of those? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you actually wanted to throw me? Yeah. For the auto then, damage on Iron Man. Because then I kill yeah. Cap. Mm -hmm. I kill Cap at the same time. Or defeat, excuse me. Yeah, Will, Will says you cannot throw him if he's dazed. Oh my gosh, it's so devastatingly bad. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just remove him from the board. Oh my gosh, why? Uh... My turn? We were that close. We were on the verge of greatness. taking both of them out. <laughs> we were this close. <laughs> yeah. How bad is that? Just can you just block one of those? I really of all the times you needed me to roll well, that was it. Oh my goodness. Um, hold on, but then we uh, do a thing. Uh, reality warp. After this deck is dropped, target character and character within one gain the stun special condition. Okay, that's not gonna matter to you. You don't even need to mark it. But you're stunned. Consider that. Great. Consider yourself stunned. Mine? Let's oh see if we can bury gosh. you. 
The shield of justice. I think if it's in an attack, you should be able to throw the thing. I agree. I'm, I'm not disagreeing. I, so, I've thrown any number of dazed things in my I life. mean, especially when the attack is dazing him. So, so you're taking this like dazed body and throwing it. All right. Uh, I'm I gonna... mean, I would say dazed things are easier to throw. <laughs> There's an <laughs> argument that can be made. I'm going to pay two and shield slam you. Let's go, Red Skull. <laughs> Dude, Red Skull's skulls. gonna come back and rock this one, thing. One damage. One damage is physical? Mm-hmm. All right, one success. All right, we'll do it again. You don't have anything better than this? That's his biggest attack? attack, yeah. Okay, That's I see. better. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh. Uh, all right, one, minus one. So I take four. Oof. Ooh. Captain Marvel time? Yeah. And I'm powered up. So if you don't if you don't do it this time, Bun, I like my odds. Oh, this should be on four too, I think. She's gonna use I'm not following the the formula. Man, I wish how Hydra worked with like when you send your attack yeah. at allies. <laughs> That'd be really good. All right, so you need to punt this one. What is it, energy? Uh, physical. Okay. Strike. Roll on five. You did a move already? Yep. That's not... Hit, crit, crit. Bad. <laughs> four. So four minus one is three. Yep. I'm dead. <laughs> what was crazy is that was... Even it as was bad weirdly as it close. was, it was closer. That was weirdly close. Yeah. I mean, even so, you would have Captain Marvel would have come in and, and murdered Red Skull anyway. So we feel good knowing at least that the day's throw thing wouldn't have affected the outcome. But man, it would have felt good. It, I mean, I wouldn't have done the Captain America damage. Oh right, that's but, right. But then it would go to the next round. I'm almost to victory over there. On you points. are almost to victory. And Captain Marvel's full. Yeah. So, but like, if Hulk actually can come in and knock a character down. It never feels like a runaway. I think the I think the take damage gain power thing is uh, the greatest catch up mechanic yeah. that's ever existed. Because no matter how bad you get smoked, and like honestly, again, Hulk just needed to do a pinch more. Just you know anything, any amount of damage yeah. the Hulk man could do. All right, well let's let's finish this one off. Anybody have questions? So we have played three games now today. Um, we've got uh, about 10, 15 minutes. Do you want to? Do this in a separate video? Mm, kind of. Not really, though, maybe. That's fine. Because we can always cut it, too. We can, we can cut it out on, on YouTube. I feel like it's, it, you may as well have it on this video because people can stop watching. So if yeah. you want to stop watching and not have any questions answered, you can do that now if you're watching later on YouTube. I do want to say we should talk about, um, we should market, market to the folks while we're here. Um, check out Hulk. So what's the first, what are the first expansions? It's all so three at once, right? The core game comes out, and then the other things coming out at the same time are MODOK, Hulk, the terrain pack, mm -hmm. and I think the first mat. It's just MODOK and Hulk? Isn't there another one? Mm -mm. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Check, our, check the site, though. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't want to lie to anybody. So if you want to buy into this game, we're selling it on our website. It's going to be the best price that you can find. You'll find the same price. It's basically, there's a minimum price that you can charge, which is 20% off of the MSRP, which is like 100 bucks. Um, so you'll find it for around 80 in most websites or uh, sometimes retail stores. Like we sell it for 80 locally as well. Um, so that's a good way to pick up the core set. And then if you're looking to pick up expansions, seriously, the, the subscription service that we run is absolutely killer for a game like Crisis Protocol, which is one of the reasons we were so amped to like give it a look and see if it's a good fit for us. I saw people talking about this problem on the Facebook right. group, which was basically like, we don't know what models are coming out when past the core release. Mm -hmm. um, and so how do I know what to pre-order and when yep. to pre-order it? Because especially when you're ordering from places like us online, if you pre-order models from multiple waves, they all kind of get held up by yeah. the things that aren't out yet. So even if it's originally planned in a wave and a model gets delayed, one of the models, yeah. all of a sudden you have a, a problem on which has Which has happened for X-Wing before. Yep. It's many times, actually, for X-Wing. So if you don't want to go through the whole pre-order dance and try to figure out what you need to buy and put that money down up front, we do a subscription search. We're running it for eight years. Covenant Subscriptions, very original name. I couldn't make that myself. Yep. Um, and basically what you do is you tell us what products you want. We have terrain pack subscription, a character pack subscription, and a mat subscription. 
And then as soon as those products release, uh, in whatever waves they release, we charge you two weeks ahead of time, the payment method you have on file with us, which is in a super secure place with Stripe and all of that. And then we charge that card, then two weeks later, those uh, products arrive on your doorstep. Um, it's that simple. And so basically what it amounts to is it's like an automatic pre-order that you don't have to place up front. You don't have to put any money down up front. And two weeks before a product releases, it's as if you bought that and then it gets shipped to you two weeks later. Um, we ship these products in the States on a timeline that corresponds to your distance from us at Tulsa, Oklahoma. So like if you're expected to get it about two days after we ship it, then we ship it two days before the release date, three days before the release date, et cetera. Um, and that guarantees that it has a good shot of getting to you literally the day that it can uh, be released and bought. So that's the whole bag with subscriptions. Um, people generally, there are probably some people on the stream that have subscriptions with us. If anybody wants to leave some uh, you know, positive feedback on that, or I guess it doesn't have to be positive, but <laughs> that would be very Thoughts helpful. Thoughts on that if you are a subscriber? Uh, yeah, thoughts on that as a subscriber. It's just a really beneficial service. We get a ton of contacts and uh, messages from people saying, I absolutely love this. I probably wouldn't play a lot of the games that I do play without the ease of getting it like this. Particularly for people that don't have a local store. Yep. This happens a lot, or like maybe the local store is like 30, 45 minutes, an hour away. Mm -hmm. So randomly when products are coming out, getting there when they actually have it in stock. Hoping they like having it. To, to yeah. deal it, yeah, it's a, it's a, a Process. And it's really good too. Like if you have a group of three or four friends that all want to play Crisis Protocol and you don't have a store locally, that's either they're not supporting the game or maybe the store is just a, not a great place to be, which does happen sometimes, or um, there's no store within any amount of distance, you can all still kind of have that same experience. All these products will arrive on release day or close to it, and then you can get together and put them together, paint, play, and whatnot. So you can kind of have your little mini local environment without having a store kind of leading the way for you. Um, so it's just a great option for a lot of uh, different reasons. If anybody has any questions on that, yeah. we're happy to answer You ready for some questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Coyote Moon wants to know, how many core sets do we need? Man, that's a great question. I, I would not buy more than one for me. I think you and I could split one, couldn't we? I think the dice, actually, are kind of one of the limiting factors. I would like more dice. But they, they have dice packs? There's, there's a dice okay. pack and there's a template pack. Yeah. Um, because you're going to each need your own set of templates. I think one core set per player because all the tactic cards and mm -hmm. stuff makes a lot of sense. I also think the core set's just a great value. Yeah. Like the number of models and what, because you're going to spend 30, 30, 40 bucks on the, the accessories in the terrain, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't just buy another core set. So it's about one core set. I think, I think what we, we could probably make it work across two people with one core set because I think for me, I'm going to be attracted to the characters that you're not going to care about. 100%. Yeah. So like, if you're in that kind of a situation where you find yourself a good complement to another player who maybe wants to play like the Avengers and you're more interested in the villains, then you can make that also, work and just split that up. If you're just playing with, if you plan on playing with the same person a lot, like sharing makes a lot of sense, right? Because it's like even thematically, you're not going to want to have two Captain Americas on the right. table necessarily. Absolutely. You go to a, a store, you want to be able to play with whatever you want to be able to play with. So that's the thing. But like, you know, I could easily see this as uh, dependent, like if we're just going to play together all the time, right? It's mm -hmm. like there's no need for you to buy any of this stuff ever. Yep. Now, here's the question Do you think in the actually organized play? Uh, docs or in the organized play like zone, do you think that the drafting of your team would ever be a one at a time thing and then whatever you have your opponent can't use? Because like it's not it's not really that cool to have like Hulk and Cap fighting against Hulk and Cap, right? It's a balance because you want people to be able to play with what they want to play with, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe they'd introduce that like later on yeah, when there's if, more releases. If I spent all my time up front painting Captain America, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Hulk. Oh, that's so true. And then I show yeah. up and it's like, oh, you can't play Hulk because they picked it first. Yeah. What I really do like, though, especially if you are working out of the same collection, is the idea of drafting your teams when you have like 20 characters. Yeah, like, it's like we're literally drafting the team. You just from put the them same all in pool. a big pool. Yeah, yeah 100%. And it's like, I'll take this and then yeah, you take that. Even just as that's a, better. As a like local that. store like where that. it's like, you know, Everyone comes and it's like you've had thirty models available, and it's like, hey, you're drafting your team. Yeah, it's just a draft. Yeah, right? I, like I think that. drafting this game is super fun. Oh, I love that. And then it's also like ev everyone has like you know it's all thirty unique characters or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm hoping we do some of that stuff here. You as can well. do some like if your team is less points than the other team, you could have a power differential. That have you a start with more power or something. You pick up four of those like two point characters kind of a thing. There's so. a lot of potential here. This is one. a good little game, Zach. I think I think it's just enough uh, complexity. I honestly, I feel like five team tactic cards. I wish I had like three. 
I think like five, although they're like one of the more fun parts of the game, and I used four this, and I, I should have used five. I think that they're, the more you have, the more specific they can be with them. Because mm -hmm. like if you bring three and you never play any of them, that yeah. that's, doesn't seem relevant. But if you bring five and you play two or three of them a game because of the situation presented itself where it, it's like, ah, oh, this is my moment. Yeah. Um, and these are all unaffiliated. I feel, kind of feel like this is a big stack of neutrals. And then as as more and more releases come out, we'll yeah. get like I think we'll get some that are specific like Target Baron Zemo, do a thing. Yeah, uh, I hope which, so. Which I would love. I would love to see that. And just you, like you kind of have some of that where it's like even the thing that has like the S, the flight one. Mm -hmm. It's like there's only two or three characters of flight. So like, you're you're putting that in pocket. But I, I think as as they expand, right, you'll get way more of the affiliation like Avenger specific and Cabal specific and whatever the other groups they do. Oh, here's another thing. This is smart. Actually, the tactic cards are really smart because now they can fix things like X-Wing, where it's like if, if Zemo is considered under the curve, you do a Zemo-specific tactic card to make him just awesome. like he gets plus five 100%. to, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. There's um, a lot of potential more, here. More questions coming. Uh, MSRP, it's 100 MSRP. It's like 80 on our site, roughly. 100 for 10 models is crazy. I mean, if you look at And the, terrain and dice. And, and terrain. And, yeah. This is, uh, for a miniatures game, I, they've got to be losing money on the core set. I think it's the loss leader Either concept. losing or breaking even. Mm -hmm. or close. Um, the standard, someone's asking about the standard size of the game. It's three by three. Um, they are doing mats, and the terrain comes in the core set. Um, this is uh, like a t almost a two by two board. So just keep in mind, it is quite a bit bigger. Yeah, but not not huge. Like it's a legion. Right? Yeah, it's like a half, half of a legion, or it's about the X-Wing size. Um, let's see. What's the scale? Oh, yeah, for like millimeters. That's important to miniatures players. Hold on. I, I don't know the scale. Let's see if they tell me. Um, I know that I've heard it. I'll find it. While you're finding that, I'll answer some questions here. Uh, Champions release date. When will we send out the token? So that's Marvel Champions, the LCG. Uh, those are expected to ship with core sets. So if you ordered a core set, you should be getting that at the same time. And if you didn't, you'll if get you, them on release. If you didn't, they should be showing up on your doorstep uh, the, the day the game's released. And if you actually just ordered tokens, you might get them before release, depending on timelines and stuff. Um, how do we feel about list building? I, I think the list building here is uh, really interesting. I love the fact that they plan on you bringing 10 models, mm -hmm. and that way you're not stuck on the same, like an X-Wing, you're stuck on the same list all tournament. So if you call the meta wrong or something, and all of a sudden you just have a bad list, that's not fun for anybody. And you get a, also, you play three or four games in a day, getting to switch teams throughout the day, I think that's very good, just for variety's sake. I don't know. Uh, Will says scales 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters, okay. Yeah. Do you know, what does that mean? Is that just base size? Like, is that the, the standard base uh, size is 40 millimeters so and then they scale up in I think it's basically, the, there's a standard measurement. Uh, they might be like six feet or something tall. Oh, Goes down to 40 millimeters tall. I see. There's a, there's a standard conversion going okay. on there. So then okay, so when you're talking about buying cars or lights or a, making a street or something, you know how big to make it. That makes so much sense. I've, ne I've literally, I've been in this industry for like two decades and I've never known what that meant. Don't tell anybody. Right. We're not streaming, are we? Uh, no, nope, we're not live. <laughs> Yikes. All right, anything else? Any other questions? I, dude, that, that was an exhausting and fun day. That was just a full, I full feel like day. I just got, I feel like I've been at a convention all day. Minus all the, the un... A lot less noise. Untenable amount of noise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last question. I kind of answered it, but I, I'd be uh, curious to get your... Yeah, someone's saying I'm correct on the the, the size. Maybe I, I, how I knew that I don't really know. You've got your um, you've been diving into the hobby thing. Yeah, I've, been, I've just been around a long time. Um, how do you Wait. feel about list building in this uh, this game? Scale makes sense because it looks like Red Skull could fit in that door. Yeah, or in this dumpster. It looks like he's kind of knocking with the cube. How do I feel about what the, the list building? The depth of the list building here. Okay, so the list building is what you bring ten. You can bring you bring ten characters, and then you choose the point value. Then the scenario determines how many points you get to play. And, and we so then, don't quite know how that works, right? So basically, from what I know, one player each player brings three of each red and blue, the secure and the extract. And then one of us ultimately gets to pick a, a red one, and one gets to pick a blue one. Those go together to form the scenario. And then I believe one of us gets to pick which of these threat values we play with. So th these all say 17. Yeah. Um, and so you bring your team, right? And like figuring out in time when there's a bunch of models available, having various combinations of, of characters to fit at different point levels is going to make a lot. Because some of these might be 10. Oh, thank you for including this. I was getting worried. Um, 
So this teaches new players how to play. So this is their, their straight up learn to play. Okay, there's an actual rule book. Good. That's great. Well, this covered like everything we needed to know without actually having the rule book available. There, there's an oh. actual rule book rule book on, online. That's awesome. Uh, once you've played a few games using this book, feel comfortable with the core gameplay, head over to .com slash rules, atomicmass.com slash nice. rules. Okay. Download the full so book, probably all learn there. how to create your own battlefield, squads, and missions. 100%. Okay, that's yeah. what we've been missing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's where it's like having 10 models that you have to pick, and then further having a point cost, you have to build two under that. Knowing what the scenario is and what options your opponent has for models mm -hmm. is really interesting. Yeah, bring it. So obviously up front, it's going to be like vanilla ice cream. Everyone's going to have the same 10 models. 12. Uh, 12, potentially. Um, so that really comes into play. I mean, we're talking six months to a year later. When you really are start, going to start to see different rosters. So the first month, after, like a month later, they're releasing five more models. What? In, in the month after the game comes out, it's five models. Which models is it's it? It's like Black Panther, um, his sister. Um, oh, that's our first subscription War shipment too, isn't yeah, it? Warmonger. Yeah. Um, and Venom. Venom. Venom looks awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that makes sense. So then, okay, then it's I, way good. I assume the first two to four or five months are going to be pretty aggressive. So then like, we'll have a ton of stuff. Yeah, five months in, we might have 40 models. That's awesome. Which they need to get there, right? Um, yeah. Both for people to get the models they're interested in and then also just to have actual options for people that are going to be really obsessed I with I like that game. a lot. I also like, I hope that, um, I know, I guess some people into this, some aren't. Like my entire roster would definitely be in the same like color scheme. 100%. I, I would definitely be customizing. That's what I'm, I'm planning to not do the standard. Like my Hulk would be like blue. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do one green. scheme across the whole. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So you bring 10 and then you choose probably four to five based on the points. Yep. And then some, some scenarios might be like 13 or 12. So you and might have to be very scenario, specialized. Like there's going to be models you want based on the scenario. Mm -hmm. Based on if you see Hulk across the table as a potential option, like are, are there certain models that just get smashed by Hulk? Yeah. Or like... Here's what I'll say. I'll, I'll, not if your role is bad. I will say that the potential, they have given themselves the correct number of levers to pull to make a lot of really interesting decisions in both list building and um, you know, essentially deck building from these, which I guess is still the list building aspect. So I think the potential is there. This is, and core sets really should be laying out the way that you can expand this game in a holistic way moving forward, right? Like that's the main thing. So I think we have the levers we need. I think if the content is good, if we see enough variation in the scenario cards where we have the 13s, 12s, and we have the 20s and 25s, the big battles, um, I think that will be everything that we need to have a very interesting uh, list building section. And then the game itself, I think, is a, a excellent, fascinating little game. I mean, I have no complaints. If you're looking to get nice models on the table and find a way to resolve them doing superhero things, it's a pretty pretty clean system for doing that. Yeah, I didn't and feel overly weird about much of anything, except the throws were a little off. Yeah, but I think but we not, got that. Once you kind of understand the, the basics there. We got it, got um, it figured. And I, th I think that's the... I'm most interested in this for the hobby and then also hopefully for the campaign elements, right? Yeah. It's like that bridge between like an RPG and a miniatures game. It's hard to do. I mean, it's hard to really do that in a... It's, we'll see. We'll see what they do, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. eyes open. All it is is a PDF. Yeah. Like you, all you got to do is drop a PDF that tells you how to do all this stuff, and then the game changes entirely. 100%. It's crazy how that works. Yeah. Isn't it? So they have the levers to pull. Let's see if it'll, uh, it'll get pulled. Uh, last thing, at least so far, is uh, the main reason a few people saying the main reason I play or the main reason I'm not playing is the hobby element. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Pretty classic. Yeah, and it, that's, that's normal. Like it's a, it's a big burden, and you're either going to love that or hate that about this. I will say about this, I'm excited about it because... I always feel like with something like even Legion, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. It's like there's so many models because of the scale it's of that like game. It's like all those stormtroopers. It's like I could. I, it's just such a burden versus mm -hmm. like exciting. So in this case, though, you're only ever painting the main characters. Mm -hmm. So I like that, and you only ever need ten models. So it's not a huge burden. And even if you, it, it's the same reason why I think Arena Rex is approachable for me is like. Aside from the modeling being impossible. Yeah, but if you send them out to get done... Yeah, well, that's easy. Well, and the thing about it is, like, in Legion, sending out 40 models is cost prohibitive. Mm -hmm. Send out five models, 
in something like this. You might do 100 bucks in the core set, 100 bucks to get them all constructed and painted if it's a decent painter at 20 yeah. bucks a model. So it's, you're, not, you're not that far in, especially if it's characters you really like and if you love Marvel. So I think it's a pretty good miniatures game for that. It's not on the same level as like, so the Power Rangers board game, pre-assembled, if it had been that, I think a lot of people get into the game that otherwise wouldn't. But with Marvel, it's like if you're not doing sprues, the detail we saw it with Legion. The mm -hmm. original models are a little blocky; they're not as detailed as they mm -hmm. could be. Um, and I think they want to do epic, awesome Marvel models. I mean, it's clear to me that what Atomic Mass is trying to do is make a beautiful miniatures game first, and then make a good rule set. Yeah. And I think they've most companies that do that, they actually the rule set is usually kind of garbage, um, and people just buy it for the models. But this this did a really good job. I think Arena Rex does a really good job too. Um, these models are much easier to put together, and they look really good. Yeah. Um, so and I'm I've, happy with I these. felt like the rules were, uh, as compared to most miniatures game, right? It's not a 200-page hardback rules. Mm -hmm. It's 15, 20 page. We, that was a long to play. It wasn't even the rule book, actually. Yeah. Um, but it's very basic. It's very simple, and it gives them a, a lot of area to play that doesn't make it weighty or complex. It created cinematic moments. It sure did. I'll tell you that. And like when you hit the wild or don't hit the wild, it's like, oof. And you hit it. Could have been or when great, Black or Widow came good. in for the snipe. Yep. Yeah, some good moments. All right. Um, let's get out of here, shall we? Yeah, I think let's... we've done it. Crisis Protocol achieved. So we're going to come back in next Monday and do some more. Should we try? Maybe we can try a five, a five model or here. a four model game? Oh, yeah. No, actually, it's even cooler. We already have this on the schedule. I just totally blanked. Next week's going to be awesome. So next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be solo. I mean, I'll have like Bryce and or Jonathan behind the cameras, which they're there now. You just can't see them. Um, and I'm going to go through the, the full moves list of every one of these models. So basically, I'm going to run down from top to bottom, have a dummy model on the board. It's going to be Hulk, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, move the up and bay. show the strike, and then show the cosmic blast, show unleash the cube. And so my hope is that, um, you know, we talked about this earlier, and it's like if people, when they get their core set or before they get their core set, can look and see exactly how every one of these models functions, how those moves look. It's like when you watch a tutorial in a fighting game, right? It's like You understand what you're moves. even trying to set up. And it's like, okay, so Captain America can do a lot from right here. Captain Marvel is really good from out here, and she's blasting. And I hope that it will give a lot better understanding of how all these models function and then everybody can get in their core sets and kind of get started right away without having to... Ha the crunch of miniatures games up front is overwhelming at times because yeah. you've got seven abilities to learn, so we're trying to make sure that that's not a But then a even, like, I use Cap in three games, and, like, I'm very familiar with him now. I feel pretty confident about everything I've played. At and I point. rarely have to even read his card. I certainly know what Crossbones does. Yeah. You love Crossbones. Spin of power. It's great. Minus one damage. Hey, thank all of you for watching. Thanks so uh, much for being here. It was here, great. Guys. We appreciate it. And we will be back next Monday for the moves list of all the characters. We hope to see you there. And we do have subscriptions for Crisis Protocol, and we're also selling the core sets if you need those. Uh, we would love to have you as a customer. So thanks for watching, and until next time, keep playing.